championships. Sealand! Sub. Does it restart? Do I have to sub for three months again? Let's see. Uh, it does not restart, dude. You're good. You get TTS immediately. It's not like a straight thing. Right. Welcome to my humble abode. My name is Zealand. We're going to football manager the bejesus at it today. And I hope you're, you're in it for the long haul. You're ready to saddle up and ride this puppy all the way to a league title. Because that's where we're going. Hey, Alberto, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Hagrid, thank you for the two months. Catley, thank you for the gifted sub. Long Ball Law, thank you for the five months. So dad joke time. I told my wife she should embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug. Up the Dorfers and keep up the great work. You got it. Tubes with the five gifted subs. I hope you guys have had a fabulous day so far today. I have. We're trying to make it better. I even made a smoothie. Is your life ever together enough that you make a smoothie? Because that's where we're at today. I'm really excited. Feeling great. How you feeling after the booster? Honestly, fine. The weirdest moment itself was the I actually got the shot. This had never happened to me before in my entire life. The muscle in my shoulder when she was like, here we go. You know, the muscle in my shoulder spasmed and it freaked me out. So I did like one of the, you know, like, you know, the muscle just like a muscle just twitches. She gave me the shot and the muscle just twitched. Not painful. It just twitched. So it freaked me out. And I went, whoa. And she, while she was giving me the shot and she's like, well, I've never, she was like, well, I've never had anybody jump before. And I was like, no, you don't understand. I'm not bothered by needles. The muscle just twitched and she's over there like, mm-hmm, sure. And I'm like, you know, I don't know if I like your tone. Okay. I'm a man. I'm not scared of no needles. The muscle just twitched. Okay. And so I jumped a little bit and that was it. Calm down. You don't understand. It's one of those things where I gotta like, I gotta like stay you know after to explain to her and be like, you gotta understand. Door. You gotta understand. I didn't jump. I, I wasn't scared of the shot. Okay. The muscle just twitched. I didn't, I, I didn't expect it. So I went, ah, you know, it's fine. Alaris, thank you for 36 months as part of the hammers. Silent Storm, thank you for the three months. Congrats on cooking your bacon. Marius the Gamer, thanks for the three months as well. <laughs> Alaris hit three years. Guys, can we get, you know, Alaris has been subscribed to this channel for three years. One of the founders of the channel. Definitely got to just, it, yeah, but you know what? Pick your favorite emote and put it in the chat as a way to honor Alaris. You know, he's a, he's a Twitch partner. That's why he Twitched, yeah. According to my my Twitter bio, I'm a Twitch something. Hazy, before we get into the spicy FM, could you look at the clip I sent you on Discord? I'm laughing my ass off, lol. I don't think I got a message on Discord. Marius, thank you so much for the five dollar donation. I Chief Cardinal, thank you so much for converting to a tier one caveman. Do I need to get a Zealand skin for FM to see the faces on the tactic? No, there's other skins that do that. I don't want to pretend we're the only people offering you that. Marius, I don't believe I've gotten that message. <clears throat> Scoot, thank you so much for the two. My wife left a note on the fridge saying this isn't working. I'm leaving. What a lie. I opened the fridge door and it's working fine. <laughs> the mistake joke from Long Ball Law, by the way, that was an A minus. I think they're both A minuses, to be honest. Scoot, that's an A minus too. We've got two two really good dad jokes. 
two self-deprecating dad jokes that we've had come through so far. Jotha, thank you so much for the prime. Ben Boo, thank you for the seven. So here's where we are, guys, in the league. This is our second year in the top flight, and we're doing okay. You know, it's pretty crazy. Okay, look at this. Teslas do not have a new car small. They have an Elon Musk. If you hadn't misspelled the word smell, Ben Boo, that would have been really good. But I'm going B as is. Nesh Doyer, <laughs> the new car smell, they have an Elon Musk. Nesh Doyer, thank you for the two months. And my goodness, La Mama with the five gifteds, Brownie, Saka, Irish guy. Tetronomicon and Creenan, welcome to the Hammers. We've got Sam FM with the 17 months. Oh! 17 months to Zealand, the Cannon Shannon. Always wondered, do I have to call Boa Vista's American right back Reggie the Shannon Cannon? Yes. Absolutely, Sam. Thank you for the 17. American right back Reggie Cannon should be Reggie the Shannon Cannon. That makes complete sense to me. That checks out. Seriously, the most fascinating thing about this if you is watch some movie Jaws backwards. It's the heartwarming tale of a shark who gives disabled people arms and legs. Caffeine, unfortunately, I believe we've heard that before. But thank you so much for the thousand bits. Undeniable, thank you so much for the eight months and up the Dorfers. Absolutely, we've played a lot of the good teams. We've played Salzburg, we've played Austria Vienna, we played Last, we played Wolfsburger. We've yet to play Tyrol, Sturmgras, Reed, or Klagenfurt or Rapid Vienna, that's, you know. But we've played a lot of the good teams and we're still Up cooking. Oh, I have a press conference. Oops, well, these are only two questions, this will be fine. How proud are you to welcome these new players? Oh, it's a, oh, it's welcoming Salazar. What did the lawyer wear to court? A lawsuit. Wow, that was bad. Wow, wow, that was bad. Wow. That was it, tubes. That was exceptional. 1,294 bits, thank you. Goodness, if we're looking for dad jokes, that's exactly where we, oh. Whoa. Holy smokes. These are the longest press conferences I, ask, I have to do, actually. They don't change depending on the size of your club. What position do you want to play Bajirian uh, right back? We've got somebody that speaks Spanish. Will he help Salazar settle at the club? Yeah, Javi Vasquez. Javi Vasquez is from Spain. You're right, we can switch the playlist. I don't know where we're hanging out in right now, to be honest. Ori Wathard, the angry dad from Dodgeball Energy. Emmanuel Eurowath. I hadn't thought about Emmanuel Eurowath in a long time. That was the ball winning midfielder at our Oriental Dragons Club in uh, Portugal. God. 20 aggression. Angry dad from Dodgeball Energy. That's so that, that's, I need, you know, I need more of that in my life. So Rapid Vienna's the last top half team that we haven't played. If we can get three points in this match, I'm going to start to believe. I'm serious. I'm going to start to believe. Now, we have a long way to go as a team, as a club. I'm going to start to believe. Definitely a maybe. Ricardo Santos. Oh, my God. What? That's the heaviest player I've ever seen on Football Manager. He's real. What do you in kilograms? That's what that's what people use. He's a hundred and nine kilograms. Thick with eight C's, dude. This guy is wide. This guy is an NFL linebacker. This dude plays defensive end at Alabama. He is real. <clears throat> Ricardo Santos. Oh, I gotta look this guy up. Ricardo Santos, not the beach volleyball player. What the heck? How did I do that? What did I click? Anyways, 
yeah, he's got 16 to 19 strength, as you would hope. Ricardo Santos, who plays in real life. Dude, he plays the Bolton Wanderers. What? No way. Somebody's got to know who this guy is. Ricardo Santos, 240 pounds a man. 65 appearances for Bolton Wanderers. I mean, I don't think he's going to end up being like, yeah, he's he's a beefy, he's a beefy lad. He doesn't look 240 pounds. I, I don't know what, he, there's no way this dude's 240. He looks like two, he looks like me, a clean 215, 220, you know? Six five. I mean, still, he looks pretty lean. You know, it's not like he's got this. He, he doesn't have the Adama Traore biceps and chest and everything. What is Zach and Fenwa? He's probably retired. With two years in. Uh, yeah, we don't get his physical stuff anymore. I have put the clip in the hashtag chat section of the Discord. Uh, thank you, Marius. I don't know. Can we just watch clips from, from people? KZ. I run a plastic surgery addicts anonymous meeting every week. I have to admit the amount of new faces I see each week is disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Take really, <laughs> Gordy. Thank you for the eight months. I'll DM you the link. Yeah, let me screen it first. It's fine. I love how Marius is like, yeah, you can totally watch my video, dude. You gotta be careful. I already have one strike on Twitch, man. I can't just go playing anything willy-nilly, you know. We gotta we have we have our protocols, okay? No message. <laughs> you think you are, Hassan? Now I have a much better beard. He has much better hair though. So but I, I have much better chest hair. I think that carries a lot of weight. iPro, thank you so much for 15 months. Way to make a statement. Max Furnace, thanks for the gifted sub, by the way. Big Havertz, thanks for the prime. Flurp, thank you for the eight months overall. I appreciate it, my dude. Uh, Corny Gold. And to be honest, I love that. The plastic surgery joke, that was hilarious. It's an A. We're standing up, we're clapping. Corny Gold's got an A. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, you know? Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. Tubes the lawsuit, B plus. Just for the record. I finished scouting Ricardo Santos. He's just so large. I'm intrigued. Apparently he's heavier than Akin Fenwa, but Akin Fenwa's not 6'5. I mean, it's different when you're 6'5, you know? Where'd you get your strike from? We were watching a highlight on Twitter from a match that was still going on and they thought we were literally streaming the match. Don't worry, there's no appeals process, so I can't just be like, yeah, we were on Twitter. Uh, so. Reed, thanks for the gift to Detij. I appreciate it. In between two words. Thank you for the tier one. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy that, Bacone. Hope you and your hammies, uh, you and your family had a safe and happy holidays. We did. It was great. Small family Christmas. I loved it. It's health check time. Make sure you have taken any meds, drink some water, and have a stretch. You are loved. Ah, <sighs> uh, Uber Melon, thank you. Oh, do a little chair stretch. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, mama. It's a little sore today. Weird thing is my body feels fine. Like my, you know, my head and my just general, like I don't feel sick or run down at all. My shoulder is just sore. 
He's basically Shaq. I don't think people that aren't American under... Do you understand how big Shaq is? Is a human being. So that guy, Ricardo Santos, is 6'5", 240. Shaq is like 7'2", 320. Shaq is one of just the physically largest human beings. And what made him particularly spectacular is normally when people are that tall, they're really skinny and they're not athletic. Shaq was really athletic and really wide. Yeah, LeBron James is 6'8", 260 pounds when he's in shape, which is obviously bigger than 6'5", 240. So, like, if you want to get perspective on, like, okay, how heavy is Shaq, right? We go 310. He's 141 kilograms, right? And we can do height. Length, I guess, would be... So, he is 7.2, you know? That's yards. I need, uh... Is it centimeters? Or you just do meters? At 2.19 meters, right? Like, I think. Meter. Yeah, I'm right. That's how big Shaq is. So it's like a whole different... Yeah, in the United States, we get some pretty freaky athletes, dude. Yeah, Taka falls 7'6". You can, I feel like you can be too fall. Like, you can be too tall to play in the NBA. I think Taco Falls kind of there. Shaq is too messy. He's in a trench coat. How tall was Manu Bull? Like, 7'8". He's from Sudan, though. There's that tribe in Sudan where everybody's just, like, 6'8". And then every once in a while, somebody comes flying out, and they're, like, 7'5". And everybody goes, ah, oh, cool. You ever heard of the NBA? All right. Can we say hi to YouTube? Oh no! Hi! YouTube! Woo! Yeah! What's up, YouTube? Yeah! Welcome! It's not all Sudanese people. You can't generalize, you know, there's millions and millions of people in Sudan. It's one tribe. There is one tribe in Sudan. All right. Now, not every one of those guys could play, like, football or soccer. Like, if somebody like Joel Embiid was a, like, a soccer player before he got into basketball because he was so freaking tall. Salzburg won. Dang it. I just want to be on top of the league one time without anybody having any matches in hand. One time. Can we play this match at home? I honestly don't even know. We got our international break, though. Welcome, YouTube. I think it's the Dinka tribe. I honestly don't know. I don't know any of the biological reasons that people there are so tall. But I do know that I, I, I have watched this before. You know, the documentary of the Dinka tribe and these people that are just really tall. It just happens. All Americans aren't 5'8", 350 pounds. Fair. That's a valid comeback. Daily reminder that Jill Linton's a goat. Yeah, Akeem Olajuwon was a really good player, but he grew out of the sport and into the NBA. Honestly, honestly, and this might surprise some people, uh, Vaduz. Vaduz is coming in for Sancha Hansen. Interesting. Get that bacon. I didn't know Vaduz was good enough to afford Sancha Hansen's contract, but there he goes. Is that a lot of play, like a lot of people that are good at soccer, right? A lot of people that are good at football are also good He's at basketball. A plastic surgery addicts anonymous meeting every week. I have to admit the amount of new faces I see each week is disappointing. Corny Gold, I have a question because you were the same person that cracked that joke a little while ago. You just cracked the same joke again. I don't know if you're like a goldfish and this is your first time back around the, you know, the tank again, but you did crack that joke not too long ago. 
some sus is going on. The tip is obviously delayed. Ah, the tip was delayed. Well, thank you for the $5 and hope it was worth it for the A. I'm sorry it was delayed for some reason. Jay Payno, I appreciate the three months though. And uh, Kier, welcome to the hammers. Thanks for the prime. Right, what are we doing with Juan Pablo? We're going to put him in the maybes. He's good, but he doesn't look like he's got an incredible ceiling and he would cost a pretty penny at least right now. And so we're not super excited. What we are excited is, uh, what we are excited about is the fact that Ian Kim's birthday on the 9th is coming up soon and we will figure out if we're going to be able to sign some of these American guys when they turn 18. I'm excited about that. Now, I think people, if you are good at football, soccer, or and... You're also good at basketball. It's a lot of footwork. I mean, obviously the way you handle the ball is different, but it's a lot of footwork and manipulating the, uh, the you know, defense is really similar. Stay in front of the guy. Right? And then offense, also kind of similar. Whether you have the ball or you don't have the ball, you're trying to shake and bake and get open and move off the ball and then, you know, catch and finish, right? It, it actually ends up being pretty similar when you boil the sport down. And so people that are good at one are usually good at the other. It's just something that I've encountered in my life is if somebody's good at one. And most of the time, because, you know, football, soccer is less prevalent. Right. It'll be people that are good at soccer will also be good at basketball. That more so than people that are good at basketball will be good at soccer because they'll just have two left feet. They won't even, you know. They won't know what to do. Kennedy, you 20s. Okay, let me look at the Bahamian under 20s, right? We've got one guy, Quentin Ramsey from Renegades. This dude is so bad. There's no, the, the, he is so bad. One to seven pace. Sorry, bud. Hey, the Bahamas did put three goals up on Canada, though. Three. Trace. How many Austrians are in the team? Uh, we have the Bum Burglar in the starting lineup. Outside of the Bum Burglar. Different question. Do we have another Austrian outside of Bum Burger? I think we do. Christopher Kobold. Can you get the full scouting report on him now? Whoa, there, Sailor. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of our. Oh, Anthony Schmidt, Patrick Puchiger, uh, Patrick Puchiger, Lucas Hinterzier. They're all Austrian. And then our youth guys, our third string goalkeeper, two young strikers from our youth intakes, Lucas Peer and David Dietz are both Austrians. So, I mean, we do have Austrians around the team. Do a little general rehab on David Dietz as he makes his recovery. Okay, Christopher Kobold, we've got that going. We just need to check on our trialists. We've got a couple of trials expiring. I know, saucy. Facundo Barbozzo, somebody that either we want to keep through the the vast expanse of in-between transfer windows or we want to get rid of. Ah, it's good smoothie. Ah. Seriously, Zealand, the term bum burglar is horrendously homophobic in the UK. See, I just, if that's true, I did not know that. Obviously. But also why? And it's like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I 
I'm also not going to get on the snowflake wagon in the other direction, though, because it's like, I don't know. I just thought his name was funny, and so I was messing with his last name. What's up, Afro? Evening, Zealand. Hope you're well. Much love. Who's your fab for the Super Bowl? Hashtag the Bucks. Tighten up. Obvious, obviously the Bucks. I honestly think the Bucks could end up playing the Patriots in the Super Bowl. It'd be very interesting, but I, it could be a Chiefs Bucks rematch. Brad, thank you for the two months. I see you going for the Titans, though. What do you think of the trait likes the ball into his feet? If the guy's not good in the air, it's perfectly functional. You intern for the Colts now they're the hottest team in football. Any comment? Well, Carson Wentz did a really good job of not getting vaccinated, so he screwed their entire season anyways because Sam Ellinger's not ready to play. He just got COVID, so he's out for the next game and probably the game after that when the playoffs are on the line, so... Three months subbed and love to see it. Also, how do we feel about Ngonches? I have a 23-year-old Nganchi tearing it up for me right now for Indy 11. Jamaican superstar Peter Lee Vassal. It's probably vaccinated, Bertie. He's not. I covered the Colts for a month. The Carson Wentz is not vaccinated. And they've been saying, dude, the, the, the media in Indianapolis is having a field day because they've been saying all year, they're like, look, he's going to get it at some point. And it's going to be when we really need him. And now they're right in the playoff race. And then he gets it. Jamaican superstar Peter Lee Vassal. I feel like that guy's real, right? Pepsi, oh, you're welcome. He is real, you goo. I knew it. I knew it! All right, I've made the executive decision. We're going to stop calling Bumburger that name. We can call him the Hamburglar or whatever. Wonder if he's symptomatic. I honestly don't know. Wins. JDSTG, I appreciate the four months, my dude. Two Kane! Yeah, it just seems sensible. Well, most people seemingly had never heard of it or it wasn't an issue. There seemed to be enough people that went, well, you know, it's not really an issue, but it's usually used in this context. So then there's no real point in us using it, right? So we can call him Bum, the Hamburglar, whatever. I like that. Good, you know, the, the, the world doesn't have enough of this. We sat down, we assessed the issue from all sides. We got the opinion of all the different hammers, right? That wanted to provide their opinion on the topic. And now we've got an answer and I think we're fun. Like, yeah, his name is Bumburger. That's plenty funny enough on its own to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's fine. What are the odds of an American Tears YouTube save? Ooh, probably pretty low right now until we get things settled down, Pouncer. Kane, thank you for 23. Wow. Kane, outrageous. I mean, we're just, you know, most of the time, 
just don't want to, you don't want to make people uncomfortable if you have the opportunity. Right? Blades over here like then the two people won. We're surrounded by snowflakes. <sighs> to Twitter! Call my tinfoil. <laughs> Sorry, I can be really sassy. I need to just calm down. You know what? Because we're here. We're just having fun together. It's all right. I, was, I, I Dude, my my defense mechanism is always to crack jokes. If I ever crack a joke at you and offend you, it is absolutely not personal. Take no heart from that because I do not know who you are. Seriously. I am esports. That was really funny. I love that. I did see that. Facundo's gonna stay. Estaragabia. Estagaribia. That's a, his name's actually much better than whatever name I just said. Yeah, no, I, I, that's actually probably my biggest curse is I can, I really eviscerate people in my mind. And when I get really hungry or really tired, it just starts to come out. I'm neither of those things right now. So I was able to muzzle it. So Blaze, I didn't mean that at all. I just thought it was, you know, late. I, I just thought it was funny. I was about to wind up and just, you know, let it loose. I love you. Thank you for being here, you know. Estegaribia played at Juventus? Well, uh, about that. Maybe a different one. I'm doing well. No, it's not. I'm not. Mine's not dad joke humor. It's very much like ripping you limb from limb, you know, verbally. It's bad. It's very, it's very useful in rare situations, but most of the time it's just like not, you know, it's not good. Like for example, what Jojo was gonna say is like, oh, wait until my 10 Twitter followers hear this. They are gonna be, oh, they're gonna be livid. You know, that sort of thing. Right. Estagaribia, uh, you are. Oh, man, he's 28. Whatever, we'll keep him around. Alex Lopez, I remember liking you. I remember liking you. Good ball controlling player. I might keep a few more guys on trial than we have in the past. Jose Mejias is an obvious guy that we're going to keep around. Um. Yeah, I think we'll keep these guys as part of the team. I mean, how? what's our workloads like? Heavy? Uh, I don't like that. Do not like that. Just need to reduce the squad size just a teensy little bit. Let me just drop Estagaribia. We keep him on the shortlist. Like, we'll keep him on the end of contract shortlist. We just aren't going to keep him on trial. And since we, we've we loaded up so aggressively on midfielders, we shouldn't keep Facundo Barbozzo or and the other guy. So Barbozzo is also going to stay end of contract, but we're going to release him and just keep Mejias and Alex Lopez around the team. So we just can't keep all of those guys, you know? So he said we need to blame the people who got the vaccine and got COVID. Why? Doesn't make any sense. It's unlucky. You don't need more midfielders. You have God's power. Absolutely. I'm feeling fine. Boosted yesterday. I'm like in my booster seat right now. Oh, we got a player lookup.
Hope you're having a great end of 2021, dude. I am. All vibes. Recording YouTube videos. Playing Football Manager. Got a new laptop. Now I'm playing more Football Manager. You know? My game doesn't start. Well, that's unfortunate. Welcome, you've been Ben. How you doing? Oh, wait, I should not have continued. We have like eight more guys to look at. Victor Bogac. He's 19. Looks pretty good. Sim Shepman. I basically know nothing about him except for the fact that in a different life, we put him on a short list at one point. This guy's not good. Get him out of my sight. Noah. No. Poacher. Ew. But 19 years old. Has some ability. Jonathan Toledo. Oh, that's in a contract. Let's dance, man. Let's dance. Yes. Christopher Clausen from Leeds, no less. Matadra. Wow. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Do, do, do. Thanks for the five gifted Sarman, Papa, Galopez, Ganami, and Ratty. Welcome to the Hammers. Wednesday outdoor stream on the laptop. Dude, never. I'm never taking that laptop outside. It's too nice. Would it be worth getting a North American affiliate to get more North American youth players in your system? Uh, it would. We just don't really have the financial situation to pay 100000 a year to affiliate clubs yet. We'll get there. We will get there. Longtime lurker YouTube viewer. First time contributor to the chat. Up the Dorfers. Welcome, Hanko. At Bacon's looking frosty. Your poachers bad? No, they just can't do a lot of things. They offer very little tactical versatility. Very little tactical versatility. Cordy, I'll nip this in the bud. We can just stop debating the viability of news sources that's not the purpose of being here but i do think on the point that our birdie raises about cardiac arrests i have no idea what the article he's referencing mentions but i i do think the players are playing too many games i don't know if that's connected at all i really don't know but entirely separate from that i'm segueing into the fact that players are definitely playing too many games i'm just gonna say People keep adding more games onto the schedule like it doesn't matter, right? And then you, but here's the deal. You add more games to the schedule and then you prevent teams that are financially able to play those games from adding, you know, like you have a 25 player registration, you know? How does that make any sense? So it's like, okay, cool. You got to play three games in seven days. By the way, you only have like 25 players and three of them are hurt all the time. You know, just let Chelsea have 85 players. Who is that hurting? I mean, I'm sure there's a counter argument like, well, then, you know, the mid-level clubs are never going to own the players. They're just going to loan them from the club above them. And it's like, no, these, let these players, the, these teams have 30, 35 players in their registration so they can rotate a little more. Okay. 25 players, man. It's not enough. I mean, it is pretty easy to sit on the internet and be like, less greed! And then everybody's like, yeah! You know? Like, greed bad! Woo! You know? Yeah! Let's go, Zealand! That's not necessarily what we're going for here. We are... I mean, you just... you The current system of just adding matches, right? And now it's like, now these clubs that are not prepare like UEFA conference league is just putting teams that are not ready to be playing in Europe to be playing in Europe I think the conference league is fun because it helps spread the wealth around but you could just spread the wealth without doing that 
You think more subs per game? Yeah, but if you have too many subs, that really changes the sport. Does anyone want to talk about that too? If you add too many subs, the sport fundamentally changes. Okay, five subs is already a little weird to me, right? Because five subs is half of the outfield players. Speaking as a manager, virtually, if I'm playing five subs, completely changes my strategy from three in ways that I'm not sure are great for the game because with five subs, unlike three, with five subs, you can start the game and be like, I'm gonna be able to make these two changes. No matter what happens, 30 minutes to go, I'm making these two changes. Three subs, you can't exactly plan on being able to do that. You can, but it's much more of a risk. I honestly think four. I think, I think it should be four. I think less than half of the outfield players should be able to switch. I think a fifth one for goalkeepers in injury instances is fine. But I think four, so it's less than half of the outfield players feels right to me. I think five is better than three, but I think four is probably where you, you start switching out half of your outfield players every match. Do you have concussion subs? Look. I I am really troubled by what to do with the concussion situation for things like substitutions. It is a hotbed for corruption if you start saying that a player with a concussion can be subbed for free and it doesn't count as a sub. Hotbed for, and look, there's a lot of right ways to do it. Head injuries are a real serious problem. I know I grew up in the United States. I watch American football. You want to talk about head injuries? I can talk about it all day long. I've had a severe concussion in which I broke my cheek and don't remember an hour. Okay. But the moment that you say somebody who has a concussion can be subbed off for free. I mean, you're coming up with a little hand signal on the side and you just be like, you know, or something. And the dude goes up for a header, falls down and can't recite the alphabet. And all of a sudden he's off for free. Man, I'm not a perfect person. If I'm in a, you know, World Cup final and I need really to get somebody else in there because that dude's exhausted, I can't tell you I wouldn't do that. Right? I want to win. And technically speaking, every time you head the ball, you get a really tiny concussion. You know? Really? Hoping little rattling. doesn't screw me here. You know, I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger eating a chocolate egg the other day. I said to him, I bet I know what your favorite Christian festival is. He replied, you have to love Easter, baby. Hasta la vista, baby. You have to love Easter, baby. As your transfer interest. Hey, that was a that was a <laughs> oh, that was an A minus, dude. We have some good dad jokes today. Really good dad jokes. Luke, thank you for the six months. And Ukes, you, you've got yourself an A minus. By the way, this whole 18th birthday reminder in the calendar has worked. We are now able to negotiate a contract for five star left back Ian Kim. Oh, but we, of course, don't have any money. Ah! 
subbed out for concussion you missed the next game uh yeah the only issue with that is you know finals champions league finals world cup finals where this sort of thing is most likely to happen that still doesn't disincentivize it but that's a much better plan definitely new fit idea pog absolutely huge My wife caught me on the scale sucking in my stomach. She laughed and said, ha, huh, that won't work. I said, sure it will. It's the only way I can see the numbers. Played. Maybe go. I think we all know where we're going with this. Why do we have like we barely had any B-level dad jokes today? These are outstanding all day long. Caffeine and debauchery with an A. S tier dad joke, right? S tier. We just need to free up a little cash, bro. A little cash. Does that free up our cash? Ian Kim from Empire. No, it doesn't. Cool. How many more people until we hit that next transfer window? <sighs> Frickety frick, dude. We just need a little more transfer budget. Oh no, Vanderhorst hits on Friday, the uh, December 1st is Vanderhorst's birthday. We need, we, <laughs> shoot! What the frickity frick is going on here? <sighs> board, please, 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 board, board, board. Lord, I need more train. I need, I need more. I need, a I need more payroll. Look at what we've done. Look at what we've done. I need more payroll budget. I need to sign Ian Kim and Vanderhorst now. Elliot Simois. I mean, man, he is only okay. You are absolutely in love with him. Give me another week on Fanuel Gomez. Please and thank you. You know how people say they pick their nose? I feel like I was born with mine. Just uninstalled 22, go back to 21 as I missed my old save. Feels like coming home. I, I feel like I've been there before sometimes. Ludwig, thank you so much for the tier one and welcome to the hammers. But we're, we're so all in. When's the USA database release? It's actually already out. Video is in the pipeline. Shh. Cannonball Titan, thank you for the Twitch Prime. This is Zealand Asthma. Lay I move into channels more regularly. Beautiful, beautiful. Happy with the high volume of strength training. Dude, you need to chill. Hi. Um, Chris losing play. The salary structure is good enough for you to get the business done. Uh. I really implore you to reconsider. It's 
Thomas Wagon Hoarder. Don't think we have enough in our scouting budget either to move over that would make any difference at all. We don't. We do not. Which is great news, you know. Really love that for us. Out of Wale, out of Yinka. Hello, Zealand. Hello, Hammers. Hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I did. I hope you guys did too. And thank you, Fierce Pierce, for the five dollars. Cheers. Best gift you got for Christmas? <sighs> got a private island, which was cool. It's a little far away. It's the end of the BVI. So almost there. So I'm going to get there, but that was nice. Uh, got a racehorse. I, you know, I, I, it's not really my thing, but maybe I can get into it. He's in some derby in Kentucky next year. So I don't, you know, maybe I'll go. And then, uh, Apparently that's a big deal, you know, they're telling me, whatever. Uh, and then third, we got, uh, yeah, we got a picture of Elon Musk's hair before the implants as an NFT. Oddly enough, that was the most expensive thing that we got. So, looking to resell that or print it out and put it on my wall and then sell it anyways. You know. So it'd be interesting. Ah, oh, you say Oka 4 on the loan list? Uh, see you, dude. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Nice little scouting report coming through here. Just figured we'd take off a piece of it while I was going by. Six days until we're away to Rapid Vienne. Two dice, thank you for the eight months. Oh, I got to welcome. To the land of almost Five twitch children old bacon sounds a little dangerous but it is healthy for you that's what's important to remember best babe it, it is healthy for you and uh makes everything better valentine thank you for the 11 months looking forward to that gold next month and oh my he's back <laughs> the man the myth the legend Fierce Pierce hath returned and doth gifted 10 subs to the community. Pierce, thank you for the 10 gifteds. Welcome to the Hammers. If you caught a gifted sub, be sure to say thank you. Enjoy those, those beautiful, beautiful emotes. The bacon next to your name. He has 630 gifted subs this month. Fierce Pierce has gone in. That is a record, by the way. Read the Mead had the record for a long time at about 400 in a month. Fierce Pierce has blown through it with 630 gifted subs in a month. Absolutely preposterous from Fierce Pierce. Allowing so many people to have access to, you know, to the hammers. Simple passing game for Rocky Bashiri. That's fine with me, man. He's never going to be a great passer of the ball. That helps him still be an effective presence for us. General team workload is low. And we got this other guy complaining that we're lifting too many weights. You know, there's just a lot of things going on. Studios improving by the day. Venema and Javi Vasquez are, you know, put a close eye on their development. Okay. Okay. 
said Ivanov could be as good as uh, Jamal Blackman. I seriously doubt that. Seriously doubt that. Sports science. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, you should have our uh, goalkeeping coach start working towards a Continental Pro license. That's actually a good idea. Brano or Zinovich, she could definitely use with some improvement, and we don't have the money to hire another goalkeeping coach, so we might as well invest some of our $3 million balance into improving the goalkeeping coach we already have. That's true. If you're in the subsection of the Discord right now, there is a Save Your Saves sheet open right now. Literally right now. A Save Your Saves sheet is open. That you can submit your saves to potentially be selected to be saved. Right now. Going 442. 442, huh? I'm excited. I haven't played that in a while. Pablo Ruiz, ball winning midfielder playing out of the center of the park. Honestly, he's got some good Masala stuff going on, too. He's 24 years old, so he's got a, a long future to contribute. And then Philip Siegel. Philip Ziegel. Well, we're just going to let him go. We'll keep him on our end of contract shortlist, but we are going to let Philip Ziegel go. Pablo Ruiz will stay as part of our trial farm, but we do need to reduce the number of people that we have around somewhat. We can't keep two ball winners, and this guy, Ruiz, much more well-rounded player. Also younger, makes him more relevant to the team. So good talk there. Good stuff. Uh, hey, Zeeland. Hey, all. Speaking of the U.S. database, I'm a fourth the way through the last division, and the kit pack will be fully ready. Muted. Thank you. I appreciate it. Muted part of the fantastic team that's been working to make sure everything, including all the graphics that Muted's working on, are just top-notch for the U.S. database. Something that I, I really appreciate. When you read those credits, you're like, oh, and this person contributed to it, too? They're doing a lot of work. I just bought this game yesterday, but there's so many things to look at. It's all so confusing. It is. But that depth and the quality of the game overall are what make it so enjoyable. You know, the fact that you can't master it in a day. I still haven't mastered the game, right? And that's what's appealing. What you do need to understand is that you have a staff responsibility screen. So if scouting is scary and you don't want to deal with it, you can give that to your staff. You don't want to deal with training, you can give it to your staff. And then one by one, as you want to learn those things, you can... from level 14 and not reach the Vanaromanoff South League yet, but my club turned professional. I didn't ask the board. Am I stuck now? The wage yes. bills are going to go insane. Competition earnings won't be enough. Any tips? Thanks. Well, you're stuck now, uh, but if you're professional, you should still be able to offer like non-contracts. And so you should still be able to use that stuff. You're going to want a senior affiliate and start loaning in at as many people as possible every season. All contracts are full-time. You can't offer non-contracts. I know one time when I was professional, I was still able to offer non-contracts. I don't know what was going on there. It is weird that they would take you professional at that point, though. Because it's not like you're in a great position. You're not even in the Vanarama North-South. You're past the sixth tier. They're a good video on general training. I think Fox the Box did some good experiments with that. Is it real that chest hair makes you good at FM? Oh my God, this guy. He's literally never played for me. He got hurt. He's just getting fit again. And then he gets hurt again. He's never played. I have never put Kareem Conte on the field. I think he was on the bench one time and we didn't use him because I don't know. We figured he'd be there the next time it came around. Holy smokes. 
Robert Wagner at uh, Freiburg. Yeah, this dude's expensive as all get out. Put him on the loan list, maybe. Started scouting Jenna Shurkin. Observed Noel Burkhart. All potential dependent there. And Young Bauer. Unfortunately, those aren't expensive scouting trips. Those are all right here in Austria, including that guy. Ian Escobar started scouting him. Good call. Benjamin Adiubi. Adiobi. Ed Liefring. Let's narrow that down a little bit. Florian Wustinger. Well, aren't these guys all just getting buckets of money for these players? Kai Stratznig. God, all these teams. All these teams have just brilliant players. I. We just got a huge report in from Austria, though, and I appreciate that. We're going to need to start bringing in some talented young Austrian players at some point. And if we can make one of those guys the first talented young Austrian player that we're bringing through, excitement will be peak. Oh, we just lost those three guys that were on trial, though. We're going to have to reevaluate them today. Is there any way to get specific nationalities in your youth intakes? Your nationality is going to come through your youth intake. Your head of youth development's nationality will come through your youth intake. The reputation and pull of your club will draw random other people in. But the vast majority of your intake will always be the nation that you are in. Unless you have a specific club like I did at Oriental Dragon that is like Chinese owned and is a China developmental feeder club. And then my whole youth intake was Chinese in Portugal, which was fun. I sent a whisper with a friend invitation. Unfortunately, Anonymous, I, I generally don't accept friend invitations from anybody that I don't know in real life. Like if we're not working on a project together, or I don't know you in real life. I usually don't accept friend invitations because it helps keep the friends list like where I can see the people that I need to, to communicate with. And it's absolutely nothing personal. Kerr Smith's a regular in my Atalanta save. He looked good. Also 12 million to buy him. There's a club in Germany that only gets Turkish players. Yeah, stuff like that. Nick, thank you for the tier one, dude. Welcome to the hammers. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes. Make sure you get in that subsection of the Discord. Zealand hates all of us. Exactly. I wanted to wish you happy holidays into the year. Second, congrats on your work. I'm your fan. Thank you. Next year will be the first world of streamers. I'd like invite uh, the first world of streamers. I I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to kind of leave it there. <laughs> I just I, I don't know what's going on. I've been, getting, I've been getting weird vibes from the world recently. This world of streamers. Yeah, you get to play as Jack, Ben, Kev, or I. Or myself. Like, you get to play as one of the four of us. And you get to manage us. That's the game. See, is Zila making a smoothie today, or is he sleep until 1 p.m.? Sleep until 1 p.m. it is. Awesome. Stream manager. Will he start the stream on time? We have no or no. Tough choice there. That's a tough choice. All right, let's dance, Rapid Vienne. Hoping to keep the good times rolling, obviously. You ever want the good times to not roll? These are the times we want to keep rolling. I love the good times. Hey, Magnus, thank you so much for the prime, dude. Welcome to the hammers. What time is it at your place? Uh, 1257 in the afternoon. Is the time at my place right now. I live in New York City. Ah! 
The last high note is so important to the delivery there. What do you call a group of baby soldiers? An infantry. Mm. The Uber Melon, yours is a B, by the way. That made me realize that I hadn't, uh, I hadn't rated your dad joke. Yours was a B. This one was an A minus. I'm not going A. I'm seeing some solid A's from the chat. You're welcome to rate them however you, you know, you feel fit. You feel they should be rated. I, I, he doesn't like big matches. He's not a brilliant player. He doesn't like big matches. Dennis Serkin's under contract until the end of time. I'm not interested. See an Escobar guy is 27 years old. He's moving around South America. He's good, but he's not great. I'll keep him on my short list, but if he actually signs that deal, signs a contract out to 2027, I'm not going to be interested in anymore. I'm not. Should I refund the lookup? No, we can do it. I just forgot about it. Sorry, Kelvin. Alessio Besso, uh, or Alessio Besso at St. Gallery. Striker, find his name. Fun to say and could be competing for first team spot going into my third season. All right, well, Alessio Bessio, let's see what you're up to. Interesting developments. It's 1S. There he is, young boys striker, 19 years of age. Going into your third season, could be competing for a starting spot. Honestly, looks like he might be doing the same here. For me, he's got 15 appearances, 10 goals for young boys U21s. He had 15 appearances, two goals for St. Gallen but he has not made it uh, into the Young Boys team after $325,000 transfer. He's under contract, though. He's listed as unavailable for loan. Nice, big, tall, athletic player. 6'2", 182. I see the acceleration. I see the pace. Decently influential in the air. And on the move, obviously, to Young Boys, the big bullies of his league currently. So, yeah, we'll hang a scout on him. We'll see what we can do. We obviously don't know too much about him, but if he comes back looking good, he could end up being a part of the team, maybe at least on the loan list or something. Got to look for a Moroccan head of youth development. Dude, the nationality of your head of youth development should be pretty far down on the list. Having knowledge of the nation that you are in is important because the majority of the players they're going to recruit are going to be in your nation, but they'll accumulate that knowledge pretty quickly once they're at your club. So it's generally about finding the best person for it. <laughs> RG988, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thanks, welcome. Thoughts on Premier League refereeing? I think refereeing's hard. And I think the Premier League refs are struggling to reconcile the desire to let the flow of the game take hold and their desire to, well, by the inches, we are right, you know. Oh, Caro is complete. He's got a national A license. Dude, you're on trial with me. What are you doing? Pay attention. Why do you think we haven't offered you a contract? Very aloof. What about NFL refs? Yeah, they have a hard job too. Being a ref is hard. Okay, it is a very difficult job that not a lot of people can do, much the same as the athletes that are dancing around in front of them. Are you pro or anti-VAR? I'm pro VAR. I mean, it solves a lot of problems. I think it helps erase flopping somewhat because, you know, you can go back and look at a play and be like, look, he hit him in the face, okay? Or look, this dude sneezed on you and you fell over. Like, come on, and then just give him a yellow for simulation or whatever. But it's not used that way as much. It's more used for somebody to break out their slide rule and try and figure out if somebody was offside. And that that's not the sport to me. I tweeted out something recently. I'm like, do you really think they invented the offside rule for this? I mean, the offside rule is there to prevent cherry picking, right? It, it, the offside rule is absolutely integral to the sport itself because it prevents cherry picking, which is, if you don't know, I mean, maybe that's an American term, it's standing right next to the goal, you know? tapping the ball in. You can't do that when the offside rule is in play. 
but you know it also wasn't put in place so that you'd be breaking out the slide rule and be like my goodness was his shoulder you know past this dude's dreadlock right like i i don't know what the, the problem is when you have var right which i am in favor of when you have var then you have the ability to say well by one centimeter he's offside what i think you should appeal the var for is when the linesman goes i wasn't sure i think the best system that you can possibly have is if you get the linesman to actually go i wasn't sure i don't know because then what's the point so what's the point of var right it's to make sure we don't get something egregiously wrong so if the linesman makes a call and goes i don't really know go look at it but don't have a goal scored and then go be like okay at the course of this play you know was Alan say Maximin's hair too right? Like, was it too far forward? I don't, I just don't think that's the point. I think we're missing the point. Oh, Vainima, we gotta put Vainima back in. Where's Interseer? Like, you could look at me and be like, he's wrong. We need to be right to the absolute centimeter, but. I, I fell in love with the sport that unlike every American sport, it was completely up for interpretation, right? Like I, I fell in love with a sport where you know, if the ball goes out, you don't have to throw it in from the same spot. It's about the flow of the game. When somebody gets fouled, you can put the ball down and kick it right away. Right? The game's always happening. That's the sport I fell in love with. Just feel like it's being tested a little bit. I think they'll figure it out. I do think they'll figure it out. God's power tower off the bench today. All right now we're just we'll just take Schmied out. One one match, no Schmied. Maybe help hit the reset button for him. I need Vidic. Still AI. Salazar's gonna get a couple of matches to try and work himself into the team. If he's still bad after that, we'll go with Vidic. And the mark on Gruel. All right. Been back in my day. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. American sports for as long as I can remember, and I love them. I love American. You know, I say American sports. I know a lot of different people play basketball. A lot of different people play ice hockey. A lot, of, but the major four American sports leagues, right? High Zealand. It's inches. I haven't been able to make many streams over the past year with finishing undergrad, but I was happy to support the best FM streamer out there. Alex the Awkward. Best of luck if you still got any work to do with that, by the way. But thank you for the 15 months, and I'm glad that you're back now. <sighs> Reckon I should go to the MLS? It could be fun. All right, let's play our game. Let's play, let, let's play our game. Not theirs, ours. You know, our game. The feeling this might just be the starting lineup for a while. So let's get Rocky Bashiri up. And bring uh, the bum burglar back because Bashiri's got a serious jumping reach. Oh, corner defense. He's also on a post, isn't he? So we need to fix that.
Cool. Set piece is ready. Let's play a match, baby. Slavija Radovich, Asensio, and Elias Anderson returns from suspension. A big one on the road against Rapid VN. Here we go. No, no Ortiz or Spear. I knew he was on. He's very obviously on. All right, boys. This is what we do. We go behind one goal. And then we pull it back. This is how we play for some reason. And we've given up that goal very early. Just go ahead and blame Bumberger for it. It's the reason for all of our problems. David Bumberger. <sighs> Great work by Slivy Jaradovic on the 6.4. Blacked out there for a second. Anything happen? No? Good. Boy, David. It's good work. It's good defense all over. Just got to keep competing. We'll get our chances. more concerning than anything else is the abysmal match ratings I've been treated to from the uh, from the team today got Salazar for his second straight match since joining the team just being bad there we go Asensio Hensersier, you gotta do something, man. You can't just turn into a door. Custodio with... I mean, what is that? Why is my deep-lying playmaker attacking off the dribble? Stop the panic clearances. This would be huge if we could get a goal right here. Speculative, obviously speculative.
one match i'm trying to teach Schmidt a lesson asensio's dropping a 6.2 Radovich has honestly recovered pretty well. Been unlucky. We got a really nervous back line in particular. I got to tell them they've been unlucky. Even if I want to come in and yell at them, I got to tell I think we might have been a little too rambunctious with our pre-match team talk. Especially considering they scored a second minute goal. That really got our headspace in the wrong spot. You've been unlucky. We've competed on a very even pegging with a very good team in the second, you know, in the first half. We need to come out and do it again in the second half. Which we seem utterly determined not to do. Need to play Vidic. Oh no, good block. We need to play Vidic more. They're completely selling out on Vidic's side of the field. It's man for man all the way across our back line, and they're creating it from that side. Can I get a push on Lubicic? Maybe a second yellow, perhaps. Oh my God, win a win, win a header. Somebody win the ball. Unbelievable. Win the ball. today you're hot today there's nothing in this game it's just ball bouncing all over kingdom Come. they haven't beaten us from the run of play squeak a free kick score an absolute bet shoot it And then score that. Scored a banger. Scramble off a free kick. And then you score that scramble of all scrambles around the goal. And just check it back. Good. You've done your part. That's nice. This is better. Cash, cash. What? How many red cards do we have this year, dude? Seriously, how many? I mean, two minutes after we... <sighs> That's what we'll do instead. Uh, Vainema is going to be a pressing forward. Our third red card of the season in seven matches. Undeserved, painful three to nothing we're suffering right now. You're gonna have days like this at the office. I don't really think that was the second yellow card. There was not a ton in that. It wasn't an. What are you doing? 
Rocky, holy smokes, what are you doing? Nick. What is this, Nick? I mean, the fullbacks recognize the problem. They were running for him. What is Rocky doing? What's my other center back doing? Nick. What are they doing? They're just standing there. They're not doing anything. Uh, that's a good idea. God's power was nowhere to be found. Oh, you know Gruel's winning this ball. Oh, you know. Both our center backs there? Who cares? You know he's winning this ball. Was he on? Are you serious? I mean, I don't care enough to rewind it. But oh my. Guys. I mean, that is, that is not an opportunity that we are allowing because we're down a man. That's an opportunity where now, all of a sudden, it took being down 3-0 and getting somebody sent off for us to finally lose our mojo. Now we're just playing poorly. Up until the three nothing. Yeah, it was a pretty even game. Yeah. Dead ringer even. Nice ball, man. Well, that's good give and go. Vainama, it'd be nice. Thank you. Good pass by God's Power Tower. And honestly, some of the best finishing I've seen from Vainama since we got him. <laughs> like, honestly. Alex the Awkward, thank you so much for the 15, though. I, it did mean a lot. Looking back in happier days when Alex the Awkward was subbing. Come on, Vidic. I know you don't play that position, but you technically have the skill set to do it. Totally thought that was going to get blocked. Sometimes you just need to let your team take the thrashing.
Hmm. Important to preserve perspective. We're off to a very good start to the season. We gave up three goals after we had a man sent off. Three goals that were clearly mental from our team's perspective. We were awful in that second half. The first half was obviously very unlucky. We gave we didn't give the best team talk. I mean, it came off pretty well, but I think we put too much pressure on our guys. And then for them to score in the second minute on the scramble play from the free kick, then they score the banger, the 30-yard volley. Right, and then they score the third goal, which is the scramble play that gets knotted in. You know, preserving the perspective of, you know, we really, we, we had out XG'd them in the first half, or I think we may have been behind by 0.04. We'd outshot them. We were very much in that game and competitive, and uh, then, you know, cash cash shitting sent off. We clearly have an issue with discipline, right? That's the third suspend. That's the third red card we've accumulated in seven matches to start the year. And I don't think we adjusted particularly well. And that that striker was obviously on one in the second half, and he was separating from Rocky Bashiri. And. You know, we needed to go out and yell at him after that match. I'm almost happy that we ended up getting blown out as much as we did because we got to give the unlucky talk initially. But now we go out, we yell at him. We've got some hard practice coming up. We're going to work on defense. And we're going to be ready for T-Roll at home at the Fock Plots. And we will be ready. And it was one match away to a top three team in the league. One of which those, you know, we are one of the top three teams in the league. So. Not letting that snowball and over affect us into the future is what we need now. We don't have get stuck in on. No. We do. Well, f my number one issue with all of this. I will do things and forget they've been done. All right, Javi, you are starting instead of Slavisha, who gave me a fat 6.0 last time out. Uh, Cash Cash is not available, so we're going Caleb Spear. Uh, Rocky Bashiri kind of disappointed me, so we're going to go with Ian Ortiz. God's Power Tower gets the start. Freddy Salazar, very disappointing. From Freddy Salazar. Rafael AI gets back in. And Venema and Hinterseer. Hinterseer was awful. But I don't think it's time to make a change there yet. Raul Asensio coming off for Anthony Schmidt. A really poor effort from him. Okay. That's our rotation. Schmidt continuously unhappy with the high amount of extra training he's been asked to do. You don't think crossing is beneficial? Rocky, you play as a fullback, man. Crossing's already up from six to seven, which means it was almost there anyways, but that's training we need. Hey, Rosmex, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, dude. Welcome to the Hammers.
Okay, cool. I'm glad we didn't, uh, I'm glad we didn't take the time then, you know? Glad we didn't. I took you off the shortlist. They're gonna try and go super narrow. We're gonna try and lock up super narrow. Thanks, Salzburg won again. Boy, they are balling out. I'm looking forward to Rapid Vienna at home. I'm, I'll say that. I'm looking forward to Rapid Vienna at home. Give me a month or two. Give me a month or two with these guys. With Salazar and Hinterseer. Rocky Bashiri. Let them integrate. Oh, nice. That's good leadership right there. Florence Door for Stars. Akas Kashkis told the official club site the players felt badly let down the traveling support. Akas Kashkis leading the charge. We need leadership. We have a leadership vacuum right now. I'm waiting for Custodio or Anderson or... Honestly, those two guys to really take the step up to be team leaders. We don't have a team leader right now. We've got a large number of highly influential players. We have like the max number of highly influential players, but nobody's taken the step to be a team leader amongst the squad yet and you know that has a detrimental effect so you know our team's made of the right stuff chris winter thank you for the six months in the twitch prime dude congrats on your silver bacon <sighs> you have a look up uh yes kelvin yaboa solid striker playing for sturm graz shawnier i'm good man Fabrizio Alastra. Contract's not running out. 25 years old. Asking price is reasonable. Ability is reasonable. We'll give Fabrizio a, a, a you know, a little bit of a scout. Play Lofneets. Hilarious to me that we have to play Lofneets in the second round of the cup. So, Calvin Eboa. Still at Sturm Graz, 23-year-old Italian. And it looks like he wants to move. Wants to move to a bigger club. He's got real value. And there are clubs interested in him. How's his career gone, though, thus far in the save? 30 appearances, 15 goals. 29 appearances, 6 goals. 7 appearances, 3 goals so far this season. Kelvin, certainly been doing bits. 82 appearances, 30 goals. The Sturmgras senior team. He's 23 years old. This is his time to make a move. A big time pressing forward with a whole bucket of pace. But honest to goodness, even though he's either footed, I don't think he's too much better than anybody that we have on our team. He does, however, look very good. You know what I mean? There's certain players that look like they're really good. Calvin Yaboa looks really good with the earrings and the he's mean mug in the photo, you know. He looks lethal. Looks like a finely tuned attacking instrument. Just found out in the Swedish Cup you can offer to buy home advantage off smaller teams. This feel <laughs> that is that does feel unfair. That does feel unfair. It's a like, Graz, a wonderful city. I've only been to Vienna. I went to Austria on, on a trip, but it was kind of passing through. I've been in Switzerland. We used Vienna as a base and went to you know, Bratislava. Bern in Czechia and uh, went to Hungary. The Vide Russo is. Oh, dude, is this the guy? Wait a second. Is this the guy we initially thought was going to be really good? And now he's ended up not being really good? Well, that's. Yeah, it's fun. Gotta love scouting and football manager. Woo! Uh, we got another scouting report on Davide Russo, and it's not nearly as good. So the fact that the transfer fell through is perfectly fine. Tyrol are currently on a three-match unbeaten league run and find themselves in fourth place in the Tipico Bundesliga. Confident if we stick to our game plan 100%. Big fan of the way they're playing. Uh, do you fear coming up against them? I know our quality too. You know, I think it's going to be a good match. Good. I thought it said two to three weeks. Two to three days, fine. He'll be available. 
got a bruised ankle. Somebody put some padded socks on him and let's get going. No, he, well, yeah, Davide Russo is not bad for a 17 year old. But it was his potential that we relied upon before. This being something that we, you know, had really piqued our interest. And now you're like, well. Sterling Yateke, certainly fun. Bruno Anuzic, no. Vaclav Derschel. He is on a month to month contract, so let's round out that scouting. Please and thank you. Hero match day. Here we go. Just needed to separate a little bit from the transfer window. And we can rock and roll. Lucas Pierre playing David Dietz in that long rehab process from a broken ankle. Our 17 year old potential wonder kid striker. Yeah, Radovic, don't worry, you're nowhere near the team today. Spear, on the other hand, is into the team, because Akas Keshkesh is unavailable. So we are going to distribute to fullbacks exclusively with Ian Ortiz and Javi Vasquez, who steps back onto the field, and then God's Power Tower starts instead of Anderson, Custodio, Schmidt, Leai, Venema, Hinterseer. Here we go. Where is Jerry? There you go, no left back sub today because I definitely see a situation where I'd want to use Jerry. If Venema starts having another poor game, we want to get Jerry back on the field. This is a hugely important red, match. White are daisies. I can't hugely believe important. I had two babies. Nice. Well said, Scruzzles. Two Twitch children. For you, my good friend. All right, change this up. Definitely don't want Lei. Where is Lei? The short option? That's fine. Should draw a defender. But Ian Ortiz is not exactly an effective aerial presence. Caleb Spears okay at best. Definitely want to bring Ian Ortiz back. The Bumburger! Welcome. Shmi enters here. That's the the target. And just a little switch to get Ian Ortiz onto a post because he is significantly shorter than Rocky Bushiri. All right. Big changes from our defeat. We owe Tyrol, apparently. Let's go. Come on, we owe them. Not talking about opposition players. We're at the Fock Plots. We're playing Tyrol. This is a completely different game. Completely two different Twitch game. Babies. Here I am with two babies and one third of a baby. Well, I'm glad that we can track your Twitch sub progress with Twitch children, Joe Helmer. Thank you for 21 months. Scruzzles at 18, Joe Helmer at 21, long tenured hammers. Joe, it's been a long journey. I appreciate it. Another big match to uh, top half teams here. We can certainly get ourselves right back on track. So when you look at the league table, we're still doing well. What are we doing? Oh my God. I mean, this is shocking. The fullback's taking an hour and a half to react to this, right? Centrally, we're getting bodied. By the way, we are set to play narrow. That's, that, that was terrifying. That's terrifying to me that that just happened. Oh, you're there, Javi, you're there. Oh boy. Like this is gonna be fun. Need to get our lines a little closer together. So they 
gets sustained possession, we're in for a long day. And they have a lot of sustained possession right now. We just have to go for this. Hey, look, he just hit get stuck in again. There we go. Force the long ball, win the long ball. Here we go. Got a nice triangle here. Thank you. Hey, look at that. Interseer. It's better. It's better already. Get the ball, pass around, play out of the back. Okay. Custodio. Oh, that's a nice ball. It's the right idea from Interseer, too, to go with a flick. Ule, I tucking in to take Gusher away. Interesting. Good, 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 good. Good. Not, not, that doesn't quite work. It works the other way because Vayneum is fast. Interseer is not fast. What a touch by Spear. Nice. All right, Schmidt. Ooh, Vayneum. Going too fast. We are going too direct. We need to chill. just doesn't work super weird up in here hope you guys are down for it actually go here complete wing back on support oh come on I have to do this to get back to the tactic I'm sorry. I, it's weird that we had to sub you out after 10 minutes, but we had to make the change. We were going to give up a goal. We were going to give up a goal. And I can't just sit here and watch us give up a goal because it's impossible to make your fullbacks play narrow enough to take care of... Oh my goodness, Blackman. Blackman! That was, that was easy. That was a nice soft ball. Hey, we got possession. We're not giving up those stupid highlights through the middle of the park anymore. Honestly, I think this has gone rather swimmingly. Here we go. Custodio. Probably threw off our set pieces. Oh, get in! What? What, Lucas? That didn't happen, Lucas. Lucas! Ah! My brain! Uh, yeah, it's fine, fine. Yeah, honestly, a lot of this is okay. Yeah, our set pieces are remarkably unscathed from the crazy changes we just made. Oh, Custodio! Oh, Olivier. The captain. Well, haven't we just taken control of the game since Zeeland's seemingly insane adjustments? Weird how that happens. All right, Schmidt. Oh, love the switch. Love the switch. And there's our second winger. Oh. Come on! 
This honestly, if we pull this off and win this game like three to nothing, this might be one of my greatest weird tactical decisions of all time. We'll take it again. We'll take it again. Play it off. God's power. Play God's power. Dang it. It's too slow. Come on. This is the one right here. This is the one. Is he on? Yes. Interseer somewhere. That's fine. Involving Raphael. Oh, Venema. Come on, Schmidt. Good work, Anthony. The Schubert guy is an issue and needs to be bodied. I know that's what you told me to do initially, assistant coach. I'm sorry. He's the back post floater. When they get the ball wide to the right, they're coming to Schubert on the left. Keep going. We'll get there. Okay, keep going. I have faith in you, Schmid. Lay I, I have faith in you too. You had such a promising start to the season. Enter Zier. I've got faith in you. You don't care yet. You haven't been here long enough, but you will care. Ian, not happy with you, which honestly provides us some opportunities. God's power, not happy with your performance either. Use the fury of God here. Honestly, we can take Ian off for, we can literally take Ian Ortiz off the field and put anyone in. I like that. God's power trying to bend it with Moses, you know, bend it like Moses. It's good look. <sighs> okay, we can take this off now. We've got five yellow cards. Now, Ortiz has improved. All right, Bashiri, good. Way to keep it simple. Draw a defender and then get rid of it. Good. Didn't draw him long enough, though. Not a bad hit. Schmidt can score those sorts of shots. We've seen it in the past. And another highlight. All right. Ah, yes. The noted ball carrier, Hinterzier. Thank you, God's power. Wow. Spears pass was just blocked by Custodio. We can clean up the mistakes mentally. I feel like we're there, but there's a lot of nerves going around, which is obviously worrying. Uh, we can't really go with Asensio. We can go with somebody to take God's power's place, which is Elias Anderson as an attacking midfielder. Olivier has been pulling the strings. He's got a really good rating. Uh, Leai has not been great, so this is the opportunity for fresh Freddy Salazar to come in. And those are the three subs that we have, right? We can't make another... Oh, well, that... This is exactly a good example. Oh my God, Zealand Freddy Salazar. Yeah, those would be the three subs that we could make. Which means we'd stick with Ian Ortiz just kind of being there. And we would stick with our nervous forwards who aren't doing much. Well, let's get Zhao in there. To be honest, let's get, uh, let's get... Jao Oliveira in there. He's focused. He looks ready to go off the bench. That is intriguing to me. I, I feel like that's going to be a difference-making decision that we've just made to bring Oliveira in. All right, guys. On this ball. First time. boy, Spear! 18 years old right there. 18 years old. I know I thought about Jerry, but the focus on Oliveira. He's such a difference-maker for us already. He put the focus on him, too. He's, he's steely-eyed on the bench. Oh, my shmeet.
Let Schmied take it. Let Schmied take it. Let Schmied take it. Stay inside. That's okay. Make him beat us with a header from outside the penalty spot. I can live there. I can live there. That's a 0.01 XG shot. This is our moment. We've turned this game around with our unconventional looks. Our bench versatility. All right, Ortiz. Lay eyes still out there because we couldn't make that change for Salazar. Oh, Venema. Come on, Rocky. That's right. On the angle, we forced a tough shot. It's not something I would consider particularly dangerous. That shot is always open on corners. Every, I mean, it is always open. Oh, yeah, we're there. The boy Oliveira. Good defense, Bumberger. I like this. Just walking the ball up the side. Ortiz. Oh, yeah, Ortiz. Oh, yeah. I told you. Xiao Oliveira guts it into the back of the net. Yeah, you know, we had a feeling. We looked at him. He looked determined. We were like, all right. Okay. I'm going to give you the shot. I'm going to give you the shot. You know, you look determined. I'm going to give you the shot at it. And he took it. And he took the shot. <sighs> Only took 70 minutes of the tactic to gel. Considering they had outshot us six to nothing when we switched the tactic in the first nine minutes, I would say the tactic change was a necessity. We've out G'd them dramatically since we made that change. Weirdly, it feels like we've had less highlights. We, we have out XG'd them rather dramatically since we made that change. What are we? Okay, just needed to glitch Venema back to where he was, and now we're good to go. Come on, Ortiz. On Ortiz. It's a great pass by Ian. Can't sell Ian Ortiz short on that one. Great pass. Oh, I don't like this. We were one on two around the edge of the six just for a hot second. That's great goalkeeping by Jamal. Chill. And then does that look like a fullback to you? Does that look like a fullback to you? I want it to go to Schmidt. Oh, my. Take a breath. Don't freak out. Watch what happened. Bring me the tablet. Narrow, dude. Force them into the outside channels. Oh, how do I tell you to do that? 
I only told you 85 million times. I mean, literally, there are just limitations to what I can tell them to do. You narrow. We have three center backs. Play narrow out of the three center backs, man. Play. Narrow. Close this passing lane here with Custodio. And then Anderson, you just run around like a maniac with your fresh legs and close down everybody that's in a more advanced position. You're good. And just take a breath. We've got our two best passing midfielders out there. Ortiz is going nuts. Had to take him off complete wing back. It's too much. Ooh, that felt like a good shot, didn't it? That was a good hit. He's off. He's miles offside. Thank you. No, I leave the mentality on positive. I want us to, to flow forward when we can. Mentality is more about, like, I don't want to give them too much control of the match. I want to be able to take control of the match to see the game out, right? If you start going unbalanced or cautious, then you could be giving away too much control of the match. Good block. Oh, I'm on attacking instead of positive. Well, I've made a mistake. I wish I hadn't. You can feel it coming. You can feel it about to happen. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Final whistle. Ah! 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 Oh, 
okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. All right, we are completely fine. We're exactly where we wanted to be. Yes! Oliveira from Ortiz, run it back. <laughs> fine, we're always fine. Ortiz, what a player. 18-year-old American, Oliveira. Trust your eyes off that bench. Oh. Mama. Yeah, there's a, it's a good win. Good win for the team. See it out now. Good. Fourth minute. <laughs> what an insane match, dude. What an insane match. What an effort at the Fox plots to end up and you know, we're back. We've won. Zhao Oliveira, welcome back to the starting lineup. 85th, 94th minute. Two goals, two assists from Ian Ortiz. Yeah, that's what that's what soccer's all about. Goals like that. That's what it's all about right there. That's what it's all about. You'll never catch me saying anything otherwise. Freddie Salazar predictably training at a 5.9. Goodness, dude. Thought you wanted to be in the starting lineup. I'm over here starting Rafael AI ahead of you, who has a long way to go to be as actually talented as you. But you know what? He contributes. He gets to the places we need him to get to. Maskeo, thank you so much for the prime. Cap with the gifted to attacking blind. Thank you for that. Cap with the gifted to score again. Thank you for that. And Cap with the gifted to score the goal. Thank you for your three gifted subs. Oh, baby. After that 6-1 defeat, we get right back to business. And despite a late penalty, which again, Rocky Bashiri, not having the best time acclimating to the club. It was a bit of a stupid challenge after the initial block. Oh, passed out in bed, watched the stream and woke up to the yeah. I am sorry about that. <sighs> no, I'm like, yeah, that match included us making a ninth minute substitution in order to change our tactic. Bashiri came in in the ninth minute. <laughs> Fierce, Fierce. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, Fierce. Thank you. I made a 10th minute sub to completely change the way our tactic was playing. Abu Jing. Futures for a year. Marco Thilio. No. Leonardo Chow. Nope. Diego Ceballos from Racing de Santander. 23-year-old fullback on the right. Lafnitz playing a classic 4-2-3-1. We should be ready to catch and return that to them. We're playing at the Fox Plots in the Cup. We do love the club. and uh, We do love the Cup, and Lafnitz have a match on Saturday. We played on Friday, so they should be a little more tired than us. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Pierce, for the 10 gifted subs. Sopnin game legend, Rocker, Michael, Nastasha, Pagata, Kim is chilling, Lancer, Trust NATO, Cheesy Casts. You're in the hammers. You got the bacon, the emotes, subsection of the Discord, the whole nine yards. Chat has spoken. More fraudulence, please. Okay. 
more 10th minute substitutions to completely change our tactic. Oh. We, I mean, look, we were giving up chances all over the place. What else were we supposed to do? They were playing more narrow than we can ever make our back four play. We needed three center backs to counter how narrow they were. And once we did that, it was fine. And it was all about finding a way to score the goal after that. We weren't giving up obvious tactical chances. We gave up that one through ball where somebody got inside Bumberger. And in the analysis of that, I really should have tried to figure out where our central center back went. Because normally we have them pegged to hold position, but you know, we don't know what's going on there. How can you convince the board to increase the scouting range? Make more money and ask again. It's all about money and your board ambition. Oftentimes it's getting promoted or getting a big injection of cash, like getting into Europe or something that the board will go, all right, you can scout Europe or the world now. Congratulations. Ah, Lafnitz in the cup and then Klagenfurt who are down at the bottom of the league table on the road. That's beautiful. Jerry, I don't know what you're unhappy about. I know what the other two people are unhappy about. High volume of quickness training. Jerry, we aren't really doing physical training anymore. And yet Caleb Spear and Jerry and Bacoga, well, we did just do physical training, which I understand Caleb Spear being upset about. Not you. Kinu and Shingase. Don't have the money to make the move immediately, but we will put you on the future shortlist, even if you don't like big matches. Gilles Vicente's Bilal Alsheria. Hmm. Mamba just texted me. She sent me a clip from uh, Bloody Necroz about the way I say Jean. Uh, that is, we have had hour long. I mean, I managed in Portugal last year. We've had hour long discussions about how to say it. And yet somehow I'm not able to please everybody at any point in the pronunciation of it. I've listened to Ronaldo talk to Moutinho. And he says how, basically, like the word how. So, I mean, like, Portuguese is just very far away from my language, my dialect. It's just not something I've really been able to wrap my, like, speaking around. Yeah, I think it's different dialects. I've had Portuguese people in chat go to war about the proper way to say it. I think the important thing at the end of the day is since I can't ask Oliveira personally is you understand who I'm referring to and as long as we've accomplished that, then we've accomplished something. No, I mean, I want to be able to pronounce every name correctly and it's something that we will spend, a, you know, we will type people's last names into Google Translate and hit play and right, look up people's names if they're real players and learn how to say them. But, you know, how or how or like, like, that particular word has been a sticking point for a lot of various people that have come through chat. But I'm sorry, man. It's just so, it's just so many different directions to go. You know? Gingnev, thank you for the Twitch Prime, dude. Welcome to the Hammers. I appreciate it. Good luck with Akos Keshkis' name. I honestly feel like we might be getting closer to that than Olivera's. Yeah, well, if any French people are in the chat, say the word squirrel, and you can't. So, you know, sometimes it's just funny to watch people from other countries try to properly pronounce a name. I saw somebody, Budak, is it Inche? Uh, like, I don't, you know. 
Very funny videos watching French people try to say squirrel, but then watch me try and say a French word. I'm going to butcher it, murder it, obliterate it, eviscerate it. I can't do it. So that's, you know, that's just the way it works sometimes. You got to practice a lot. I got a lot of credit from a Turkish person for saying Burak Yilmaz's name correctly. So I take pride in that. I thought it was Germans. Now I'd, I mean, it's a lot of people apparently that say, they can't say squirrel. Squirrel. Fies, I see. I, I see the way to pronounce it. And I will appropriately pronounce it the next time I come across it. See, I actually, I majored in uh, my, my history, right? And my concentration was Ottoman studies. So I wrote my final paper on like Ottoman Empire. So I am aware of the fact that Hakan Shalanulu is like closer than whatever some English commentator would say, Kalhanoglu, you know, like. You just got to put marbles in your mouth and just be like, and then all of a sudden they're like, yes, that was almost the word. And you're like, what did I say? I didn't know I was doing it. How did I do it? Mad respect for people who have languages that don't fluctuate a lot. Like when I listen to Chinese, I'm like, dude, you just said the same word 10 times. How is, but then obviously, you know, super cool language where you've got, you can say the exact same word, but with a different inflection, it can mean something like the word for also means death. And it just determines like, like what mood you're in when you say the word, I think that sort of stuff is fascinating. In, in Italy, they call him Chalanoglu. I love that. It's more like Chalanoglu. No, the, the G is like... That, that's the hard... That's the really hard one to say is the G with the... It's definitely not a G. Right? It's more like... <laughs> he is so white. Oh. Thing in. Gringo. Stick to the left side of the pitch when dribbling. No! No! Radovich should be changed to a fringe player. God, the fall from grace. The fall from grace is Lavija Radovich. I'm saying that name right. So, put him on impact sub. Uh, I'm not moving Pierre Markanovic down. Ortiz, welcoming period, positive effect on Nolan and Ian which is good uh deets yeah they've been hampered by injury obviously but paul nolan's been showing some development and training that's good it's very good his determination's going up from the mentoring group he's seeing the field a little better he's improving his passing so we want uh ian ortiz not reacted at all well to the welcoming period afforded to them i thought you just said it had a positive oh god he's gonna be a problem isn't he he's spirited though he should develop well i don't know what's going on Welcoming period just didn't do well. Yeah, don't, don't stop pestering me with the last four messages about the staff. I'm fine. Do a video where viewers from various countries teach you how to pronounce their names correctly. I'm down to teach you Polish. Oh, dude, things that terrify me. Polish is pretty high on that list. Yeah, but counterpoint ask somebody from poland to pronounce nfl outside linebackers name barcavius mingo you probably wouldn't have been able to pronounce that one so we can go back and forth here right oh salazar just broke his armies out for a month and a half i might as well not even sign the guy unbelievable plays two times averages a 6.5 breaks his arm what come on yeah debrickashaw ferguson Jakub Blaszczykowski. That's that I feel like that's not as hard, right? I've also heard that said a lot. You need to hit me with the unheard of ones. Let's 
Spell Lazarus Christodolopoulos. I, I feel like I actually kind of... <laughs> Jaquincy, Jaquincy McKinstry is a great name. I, I do love Jaquincy McKinstry. There's Ha Ha Clinton Dix. That is a great name. Ha Ha Clinton Dix. All of this happening now until some dude from Wales drops in with that 45 letter name of a town and just ruins everybody, right? What's a good sum of country so let's my PC doesn't turn into toast? Depends on how much processing power your PC has, right? I mean, if you're rocking at least an i7, you can load basically every country in the world and then put as many on view only as you want to speed the game up. Oh, there is an there is a football, an American football recruit named Decoldus to Eva Do It Crawford, which is just tremendous. And then of course the best player in the NFL, Young Ho Ku. He was a tremendous kicker. The best part is when I see the NFL posters in Korea, he's like the dude. They like put him at the front of the poster. It's like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Young Hoku. You know, <laughs> like, ah, nice. Love that for you. It's no interest. It's got no interest in coming here right now, you know? None. And with Salazar out, we've got no opportunity to real. Well, I mean, we can rotate the team, and we're going to rotate the team, but I'm going to sit here and complain about it. Um, Rocky Bashiri. You're in. Caleb Spear is in. Akis Keshkesh is going to get another break. We're going to bring in Puchiger so we can do a full team rotation for this cup match. Where is that left back who drives me nuts? Slavija Radovic, you're in. God's Power Tower stays. He will play next to Paul Nolan, who is going to be shifted to a ball-winning midfielder on a personal instruction. And then we are going to take Ilya Shishkin and put him in for Nick Venema. And so Shishkin's going to go run around up there. What do we have him training on? Learning how to be an inside forward off the left. And he's getting better, too. I appreciate it, Ilya. I'm not asking you to do easy things. Okay. Salazar off the bench because he's hurt. And Asensio steps in on the left position. I mean, how's Shishkin's defense? Not good. That's why he needs to be more of a forward player and not much of a deeper player. Kareem Conte, fitness test not required. Well, we're just going to let him complete that fitness test. The dude is clearly incredibly injury prone. Uh, oh, wait. Just do Jerry Mbikogu. Next to Ilya Shishkin, who we need to give playing time to, but Jerry also needs to get on the field. Oliver is going to start the next match. Hunter Seer is just going to get sat for two matches. Lucas Pierre is going to get up and get on the bench. Schmidt, we're going to take down. Anderson will stay on the bench. Ortiz will stay there. Anybody else we can rotate in? Pris Kenne. And uh, Ivanov gets the start. We're still going to be positive, though. This is a rotated Lafnitz team. We still should be able to rotate better than them. We have quality on the field. Should be all right. Okay. Captain's not been selected. Uh, Nolan, I'm guessing, is a little too young. Yeah, you're right. It's Jerry. make our set piece changes once we get into the match. Uh, Daniel Beer needs a new jersey. He is not going to play a lot, so he gets 38. We hope he doesn't play in this match. He just gets to make an appearance on the bench and warm up with everybody. They'll be all right. Yeah. I mean, if you start throwing names around like the Samoan names and the Hawaiian names that are odd, you know, they're part of the United States, but a lot of Americans can't even say a lot of those names. Yeah, Tuatonga Vailoa. 
TJ Hushmanza Day. Loved that. Uh, Igor, I've got to trust you to make a difference. Ilya Shishkin's feeling aggressive. I love that for you, Ilya. I love that for you. I love that for you, man. Is he on, like, tanker duty? That's weird. Ragi Bashiri and the Pooch. Swap him out there. So he stays on that one. Bring the pooch further back. We really don't have the short guys on the posts here, do we? Really don't have a lot of short guys. Okay. Set pieces are set. First goal is crucial. Obviously looking for a strong start. Needed to rotate the team today. And it's the Austrian Cup. It's the Samsung Cup. It's an opportunity to give our guys an opportunity to play in front of the fans at the Fock plots. You know, this is their moment. Serious. Thank you for the three months. It's part of the hammers. Thanks again to Fierce Pierce for 20 gifted subs today. Hmm. I saw a, a video of a congressman who couldn't pronounce Samoa correctly. My favorite is that I am pretty sure there are a significant number of people in the elected houses of the United States that are unaware of the fact that American Samoa is very much a part of the United States as well as Puerto Rico. But you know, the only reason you run for office is because you're too stupid not to. That's a pretty good phrase. But yes, American Samoa, Guam, for whatever it's worth. Well, that's a goal. That's unfortunate. Okay, guys. That guy was on trial with me for two months, too. The guy that just scored. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of islands that are not states that are part of the, you know, they're part of the United States. And we're just kind of like, really? Interesting. Wonder what they're going to do about that. I'm like, oh, okay. Somebody's pronouncing Arkansas. Well, that's really, you just know how to pronounce it. It's just Arkansas. Shishkin! Jerry! All righty, kids. I've had just about enough of this Lafnitz nonsense. Oh, I love that pass. God's Power Tower. Vidic, what a touch. The Pooch. Hold over from our original team that's still out there. Asensio, God's power, Jerry. Eventually, somebody was going to take a bad shot. I'm just sad it was you, Asensio. Just hoping it wasn't going to be. Good siege works, though. I mean, this is good. This is possession in the face of their defense, working the ball around. Nice. Bashiri, he's got Vidic! Oh, my God! And then it was just on the goal line. Fun, fun XG chart, fun. Dominated that first half. You've been unlucky so far. That doesn't mean that we couldn't play better. Somebody's like, dot, 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 you gotta put a Sensio further up the field. Well, now I'm gonna do it. I'm teaching him that position. Why the heck do you think I'm playing him there when he doesn't know how to do it? But now we need offense. So we're gonna move him further up the field. So technically good call, Rashiano, good call. Nolan, 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 Nolan. Vintage. Yes, Nolan. Yes, Caleb. Way to take the space. Play the fullback. God, that's beautiful. That's training ground stuff. Oh, oh God's power. Oh, mama. God's power tower with the showstopper. Come on, Bashiri, you're 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 a freak. Run. 
Oh, the boy Nolan. But you scrap it out. No. Uh -oh. Hyper aggression did le it leaves us a little exposed in that position if they're knocking the ball around the park in that position they're through our first two lines of defense we're in trouble but you know that's kind of the point of the four triple two because they turn the ball over they're in trouble Vidic nice Raul! Raul! dang it it's good ball to Raul come on come on Come on. We're gonna have a, we're, we're giving up some serious highlights since we made that change. I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's going too well. Oh, that Awul is not playing well. Vidic is somehow the only person going forward that is playing well. Lucas, you know what? Dang it, I'm putting the 16 year old in. He knows how to finish. Lucas, you're in. Give me the 16-year-old from the academy. Ilya Shishkin, despite his ability, is not there and appears motivated off the bench anyways. Anyone else? Rocky Bashiri is apparently freaking exhausted, so... Give me Joe Oliveira as a wide target man, please. Well, that was quick. Watch this. Oliveira or Pierre? I don't, you, you probably didn't see. You probably didn't see what happened. So let me help you. Right? I mean, the players are small. It was zoomed in as far as we can go. You didn't see it. All right, let's watch what happens. Oliveira in space. That's fine. The, the uh, Great Wall of China's in his way right now. Ball's pinging around. It bounces off a defender. At which point, this is free reign. Because Mbakogu was, he was onside on the shot. He's not on side on the deflection, but it doesn't matter. Jerry at this point does that. That's a pass. One more time for the kids in the back. Okay, now we can continue. He wasn't offside. A ball would deflect it off the defender. He was onside. And if he was offside, it would have been called because we maintained possession there. So we gained an advantage from the offside player. Oliveira looking for Lucas Pierre. 16 year old it's a chance to be a hero i think the match engine's given lucas a beard as well what is this kid me oh bashiri what in sam hill is that nice save even of rocky god that is awful rocky that is terrible give me uh give me elias give me elias I'm going to switch the sides. I want Elias charging. I want God's power tower just doing the whole center mid on support thing. That's the last sub. Rocky Bashiri's exhausted, but I don't have an extra sub because I'm making substitutions to try and win the game. And Paul Nolan's been bad today. So you can get him off. Hey. Oi. Thank you. And he's off. All right, guys, that's 10 minutes with absolutely nothing. You want me to hold your hand? Actually, Rocky, I mean, I know you're exhausted and you're like about to just capitulate. But hear me out for a second, okay? I want you to, I, we're gonna put God's power because he is tall and he is tired. 
We are going to put him up here. We're going to Shadow Striker him, and this dude's going to go nuts. We've got Pier already in the box. We've got Anderson as a romp. And here we go. Thank you. Boys are tired, which is weird because we like basically rotated the team from the last match. Can't be losing that header. Sorry. That's illegal. We can't lose that header. All right, and our distribution instructions should change. We are going to send the ball away. We're going to get stuck in. All right. Can't lose the first header. We do that. We have nobody in a recovery position. We're essentially screwed. All right, Pierre. I don't like you doing anything other than shooting here. You know what? Prove me wrong. Come on, Pierre. Nice ball. You know what? Good effort. Flick it. Dad, Flick I it on. You. Flags up. Nice finish. He found the net. So that was cool. I called Oliveira for that. Wasn't even on Imbikogu, I guess, was behind the ball. Oh, love it. Love it. No, 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 no. Can't mess around with that when Oliveira's in there. Okay, we've made 85 million changes to this team to try and survive in the Samsung Cup, please. This is at home against Lafnitz. And it just reset. We're on full match, which is fun. Love when that happens. Watch as Zealand fiddles. Unsure of whether his fiddling will have any impact on the final outcome. But watch him fiddle nonetheless. Why did we reset again? I didn't fix that after the first one. Oh, here we go. This is it right here. Cardiac kids. Pier. Play him. Play him. This is it. Igor Vidic, ladies and gentlemen. Up the field. Oh, we got another. No, we don't. Oh, clean in. Great pass by the 16 year old Pierre. He is just like in there. Oh my God, Oliveira. All oh, the like. Is this just torture? Dude, send it. How many? I told you to kick it long and now you want to play the ball short? It's like they do the inverse of what you tell them to do. 
Randomly, Radovich had a 7.4. Congratulations, we still lost. Oh, Igor, man. Igor. Yeah, well, we had like over 2xG and didn't score a goal. So I think, you know, by and large, we're not super disappointed the way that we played. But we obviously, uh, we didn't bring our, our finishing boots and didn't do the things that we needed to do in order to get the result that we wanted. And that's it. We gave up one goal super early. It was the only shot. Uh, it was the youngest player ever. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. 16 years, 320 days. Lucas Pierre. Ah, this is different than last season. This is definitely different than last season. In no small part because we have won six of our first eight matches. This isn't just we won our first three matches. We have no idea how we're doing this. We are very far away from the rest of the league in a top three with Rapid Vienna and Salzburg right now. And we have played all of the good teams in the league. All of them. We have Klagenfurt. We have SV Red. And we have some other team in the bottom half. Zed. We Left. are going strong. 17 is a big for tough graders in chat. My name is Abkdef Geikmnuk's two eyes. It is pronounced Noel. What's up, Noel? Thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate you running through the pronunciation. That always makes things easier. <sighs> Sergio Gill, why you got two first names? I don't know, son. Something's very weird about that man. Ronaldo Tavares. Yeah, big, tall lad. Keep him on the short list, but that's it. What are we dealing with? 4 2 3 1. Easy enough. We'll be ready. Give me a quick pick team. Ah, press a Ken A. Ian. I want Ian. Where did you put Ian? Center midfield? Are you, are you okay? Cash Cash and Bumburger are back, Javi Vasquez. Even though Slavija uh, Radovic did give us a good match last time. Anderson. Oh, interesting choice. Uh, Anderson and Custodio into the middle. On the left side, we have a recovering Anthony Schmidt. Enters here as the left wing is interesting. Or is the right wing? Can he cross? No, he's getting worse and he's old. Olivera starts right wing is Rafael Leai. And then Veinema and Olivera with Interzier and Mbakogu as substitute options. We will assess the rest of our bench later, even though I'm fairly certain God's Power Tower will be right there. And Slavija Radovic will be right there. And Rocky Bushiri, even though he's not super duper fit, will be there. And we're just going to go ahead and set up the bench now. Caleb Spear. You're in. Anybody that I think would be a bigger contributor off the bench than the guys we have out there right now. Paul Nolan definitely let us down and we're going to have to let him sit for a game and think about it. We put you on rehab. Yeah. Good. Okay. Some trials coming to a close. We did completely forget about our scouting update that we just got. You observe Sebastian Dernberger. Good for you. Who do you consider your best player? <sighs> Probably Anderson or Custodio. I think our central midfielders are really talented. We asked them to do a lot. And Akos Kashkesh is good. But I don't know if we don't have a superstar, that's for sure. We have good players. What's God's Power's real name? God's Power. Yeah, there's this transfer marked. <sighs> On 10 tackling. I know you're an athlete, but I'm going to end a contract. That's it. Diego Ceballos started scouting. Previously scouted MV on the transfer list. Mirza Delamanovic. No, Samson Tajani. It's a good find. Lucas Veraldo. 
that's just one of those we scout him like for two weeks basically doing the one week scouting two separate times Chiquinho tricky player right on the fringe of what we would be able to afford but he looks like he might be worth it this guy on the other hand is very obviously affordable not as good Duvon Viafaria Matteo Tremoni good starting to scout him starting to scout Lucas Francia Vestislav Kershev uh, no interest Kalila cool played 90 minutes in the Samsung Cup for Luce Denal. it's neither sided fullback we'll give him one week and a chance we'll give him one week and a chance Power is actually the nickname part. No, that's his middle name. God's Power Tower Afianio. Aniafio. <laughs> Sorry. Switch the F in the end. God's Power's got an Instagram. Yeah, somebody tagged him on Twitter. I never saw, I don't think I ever saw him respond. But somebody tagged him in something we were doing on Twitter, like, yo, my boy, God's power, you're making an impact or whatever, you know, something going on like that. It was funny. I was hoping he responded, but, you know, he probably has no idea what's going on. I don't think he ever uses his Twitter. Fair enough. What was your transfer budget at the beginning of the transfer window? Absolutely nothing. Uh, you're playing through that damaged elbow, Elias. Really sorry to break it to you. I hope you like pain. But you're playing through that damaged elbow. Luka Petrovic. Uh, please give me some EU. That'll do. Croatia will do. We can give this guy a really cheap contract to bolster our youth ranks. 18 years old. Do I want to do this? Though? No, I don't. I don't. We need to save this money. And this hurts me endlessly. That, we, that I can't do this. We need to squeeze every dollar we can together so we can get Venorst when he when he wants to come over here. Because I want to bring in Luka Petrovic, and he's got an opportunity to contribute for us in the future, and huge boon, right? <sighs> Who's Brunig? Some guy's trial sending. I don't recognize his name. What's your transfer budget at the uh, beginning of the transfer window? Reading that to myself, I, you know, it didn't work the second time. I still don't know. Wasn't much. Maybe three, four hundred thousand. We've kind of been shifting it back and forth with the wage, so whatever it was, it's long been shifted. Saturday's match sees you come up against increasingly under pressure Wilhelm Schildes. Uh, so I don't have to concern myself uh, with that. Um, why would I waste my breath to support someone who doesn't der deserve to be supported? Uh, well, I'm a lot on his plate. I don't think anything can be achieved by me adding more to talk about. Loft needs will show what they can do to avoid the drop against Salzburg. Um, I'll be honest. I'm going to go to Loft needs and say I don't see them winning that game because it's freaking Red Bull Salzburg. So there's that. Louis Brunig, 19 year old German. I have to keep him on trial just to assess his potential. Jose Antonio Carlos stays on trial. He is a very good influence on the locker room, if nothing else, and versatile backline player. <laughs> Holy brow, absolutely. We often scout based on the viability of the eyebrows of the region that we're going after. I would advise it. I've found it's been very helpful for our overall team productivity. Oh, I didn't finish that one. Shouldn't take much. Khrushchev. Uh, we'll let that one go. Doesn't seem like he wants to play here. He's on a really long contract. No reason in wasting resources to manage that. Come on. Come on. Interseer. Come on. Get a bad week of training, dude. Pick it up. Lucas Pier, on the other hand, dude, is hopping off, okay? Rafael, 
getting better at dribbling. He's increasing his pace. He's off the ball. He's seeing the field better. He's a very balanced player. A lot of things to like. Yeah. Are you only signing regions for North America? No, that's not like the point of the save, but we scouted the U-20 World Cup and the Americans and Canadians are the only guys we can get for free. So that's who we're trying to sign is the Americans and the Canadians. And we've already brought in a host of them. Ian Ortiz, Nolan, Shishkin. He is some right winger who will not be named because of the audacity of his miss very late on in our cup match. And yeah, Pierce improving. He's also 16 and he's got a long way to go. So we'll see, uh, see where he ends up. Beer gets the call up to the U19s like it's our Aruna is on our end of contract shortlist has done a deal fun Harold I appreciate the 18 months as part of the hammers dude Sealand's face pack marks good players like a shard card shark marks cards no it doesn't it marks players that you put in your player search if you're talking about the region face pack which is the only face pack I've made the region face pack marks cards. No. The region face pack marks anyone that's in your player search. End of story. This dude looks 12. And I can't sign him. We'll keep him on trial. I would like to sign him. Bolster our youth ranks. Somebody that could turn into a fairly valuable player with the right tutelage, the right opportunities provided. Can scouts analyze the German national team because very little statistical data exists for this team? Is this a bug? That just means you didn't do the real name fix. The German national team isn't calling up real players. They're not real. They're not real, man. They're not real. Hmm. Vidic, your development. Buns. Yeah, so Pierre is on a decent development train. It's not great. We're going to double him up and we'll put him on... He definitely needs to improve his quickness to be more dangerous, but his ball control is also lethally bad. And so let's just assume that his athleticism is going to improve as he gets older. He's only 16. We'll just do ball control for now. Oh, uh, wow, Bashiri. Excellent recovery. I ran that guy into the ground and he's already back. Venema, Oliveira, Leai, Schmidt, Custodio, Anderson playing through the injured elbow. He'll be fine. Javi Vasquez, Bumberger, Keshkish, and Ian Ortiz. Nolan, Vidic, and there were guys that could make an argument to be around our bench but you know what i want my full complement of defensive subs because we'd be getting very inconsistent efforts from those guys uh around there uh javi vasquez been lacking match sharpness he only missed like a match we're fine i mean forever to get our team match sharp anyways i expect the win today i can't get to i don't get to say that very often but this team's terrible this team is terrible Well, I know we're on the road against clogging for it, but they are not good. I expect the win, and you can see the reaction from the team. They know it. They know we expect a win from ourselves in a match like this. I need a little more from Venema, too. I'm not getting a ton from Venema. Great pass to give Schmid a chance to run, and then he does that. Anthony! Nice, Oliveira. Oliveira! Really? It's offside.
can't get dribbled there, Ian. Now, we had enough traffic in the way that that winger didn't look like he had a lot of great finishing, but Ian Ortiz getting worked like that isn't good. Completely losing your battle defense. You can partially lose it, and that's fine. Completely losing it to where they you allow them to go wherever they want. That's the issue. Is he on? Yes, so. Schmidt, take a touch and shoot. Better. Hmm. Mm. We're already narrow. It's unbelievable. You just can't play narrow enough to stop these guys. Tighter marking. Follow that run in more. It's the second time it's the same freaking guy. Now we need to put on again his play out of defense. And we can do that against this team pretty comfortably. I thought about a defensive midfielder. There you go. There you go, Ian. That's better. That's better. Oh, Vainema. That's what I'm talking about. Ian Ortiz makes plays, dude. He makes plays. And Vainema, finally, the advanced forward that we thought we were getting, that's able to make plays like this. Run in a channel, take a touch, and put the ball in the back of the net. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Excellent goal. Now we just need to tighten up the way we're playing defensively. We found it on the offensive end. There you go. We're sticking to reader. Excellent matchup defense going on right now. You just, you can't stop this in FM22, man. And I have this problem so often. You're, you're like the fullbacks, they just don't get inside of these guys. They always get beat to the inside. If you have central players that drop, wide players that cut in, you can't stop it. They don't, they never, I mean, he is inside of them, but he does, he just doesn't stay like there's no responsibility out here Schmidt is with Paul Paul hasn't made that run yet there's no responsibility man none And you can see it on the other side. Look over here. The same guy, the same thing is open on both sides. Stu could have passed it to either side. They're both, it's both, they're both open. They just don't defend it. We have the right numbers in the wrong places. It's remarkably consistent. They just don't defend it. So I said, maybe that guy just isn't good. He's not great. But that's just something I've noticed. It just happens a lot. We score with it too. Why do you think both my wings cut in? All right, Javi. Great ball. That's good. Okay. I'm actually going to do something. I have no idea if this is going to work at all. This could backfire tremendously. But it also can make me look like a freaking genius, right? We're going to turn that on and turn this off. And we've got our defensive midfielders there. Great goal to Rafael Leai. I knew we could score against this team, right? That was precise. This is sharp. This is possession. This is not us passing the ball too far forward. This is us getting numbers in the right places. Man on man across the box. Somebody gets open. It's Leai. He scores the goal. Beautiful.
All right, now both of my fullbacks are in a man mark situation against the wingers on their side, which leaves the midfield and the other wings. I could save responsible for covering the wide flank. I'm sure they can do it. I am sure I that they can do it. for plastic surgery addicts anonymous and was very disappointed at the turn. Oh no, Gavin. There were far too many new faces in oh, the crowd. Gavin, this got this got in this got an A earlier in the stream, Gavin. It's a great joke. Far too many new faces in the crowd. But we heard it earlier in the stream. I know. It's a, you were right. It's a great dad joke. It is. <clears throat> it got an A earlier in the stream. Lei won a header. <sighs> a wide ball to Rafael Lei, if he is marked at all, is not a good idea because he's 5'3. But, you know, he won the header. So that's what I care about. Why is Bumberger doing that? What is wrong with Keshkesh? Can't he just go for that? He ran away, and Bumberger, who is in no way positioned to play that ball, just decided to come flying at Bumberger's everywhere. Okay. Oliveira, there it is. Venema. He's on. He's definitely on here. Man, we all the finishing we didn't have against Lafnitz is here because we have created three chances and all three of them have ended up in the back of the net. I mean, we've created three good chances. Vainema just, he's playing that advanced forward role. This is what we want from him. He's a very good finisher. He moves off the ball. He's a big athlete. Oh my goodness. Is this Lei again? I swear. This is the second goal he's cost me. It's going to be on the other side. No? Okay, good. Now, granted, Lei is still not on a post, which is my fault. But that didn't have anything to do with this goal. I was like, dude, if Lei is in the zone marking again, I'm going to lose it! Well, this is a fun match. Three to two. A police officer was going door to door, telling us he was looking for a man with one eye. I told him to use both and he'd probably find his suspect quicker. Can you imagine saying that to a cop in real life? All AI. Ref! Second yellow and a penalty. Ref! Ref! I'm watching you. How much should they pay you? I'm watching. Yeah, Gavin. Ugh. Do Salz what? Is Salzburg not winning? Are they are they losing? Are we about to be ahead of Salzburg if we win this? Goodness. Now I'm nervous. Come on. Thank you, Cash Cash. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Mmm, a little less lovely, but it worked. Schmeet. Oh my. The moon ball! Good touch, though. We're in business. Oh, very good. Lay it off. Easy. <laughs> Just shoot the ball. Shoot the freaking ball. I mean, now it's halftime. We can't even go watch it. Just shoot! Guy is like eight yards out and he just receives the ball with an open window towards the goal. Like, nah, I'm good. What? Of all the inventions of the last 100 years, the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. <sighs> no, okay. I like it. I We heard it, I think, a couple months ago. That's an old one. But I like it. We did hear it a little while ago. Not not in recent memory. Lei is really back to his old tricks today, isn't he? A little dip in form for September. For Raphael, but he's back to what he does. The police officer looking for the man with one eye. That's a B plus for me, Gavin. Throw in defense. It is my nightmare. 
The back post cross off throw-ins specifically is my nightmare. Oh, Schmidt, just keep going. Oh, Venema! Hat trick on, the, on his boot. Well, there's a pretty big opportunity that we didn't take. Oh, nice distribution, Blackman. Just skip the press. Oh, Lei, I don't know if you can take this guy for speed. Yeah. Just check that back to Ortiz. You don't have to attack there. Oh, Kashkish. Lovely. Ooh, Oliveira. Look at those wheels. Nice. Yesterday, I was washing the car with my son. He said, Dad, can't you just use a sponge? <laughs> He's washing the car with his son. Thank goodness this Kitagawa guy can't finish his dinner. So we'd be screwed otherwise. I don't know why he's the only one that's open. God, I wonder what this came from. Did it come from a throw-in? Are we sure on that? Did it come from a... It came... Okay, cool. Was he on? Find the ball. Oh, oh yeah, the man mark on reader. Obviously didn't work. Need to make changes. for fitness sake. All right, Schmidt, you're off. We're going to go for the win here. And give me God's power for Anderson. We'll stay with Lei. Survey our bench a little bit. And we've got Henther's ear. He's motivated, and it's not like Oliveira's been you know, just tearing up everything, but we can go with Jerry and Bakogo. I think that actually make a really significant difference for us. Let's crank up the intensity. Let's play attacking. Continue our fullback distribution, and let's get stuck in as well. All right, here we go. Oh, I hate that pass. The Ortiz has really outdone himself to get out of that situation. Raul, God, you've been on the field for three seconds. Why do I already not like you? Block. Always the right spot for that. Okay. Okay. right here just just why are we in a life or death scramble that's fine I'll take that header look at Ortiz he's right in front of you he's right you look what uh, what uh, oh yeah, just hang on to it for an hour and a half and punt it to them. Genius idea. Nobody's ever thought of that one before. God, Ortiz, you are really playing well. I mean, Ortiz was just standing. Oh, we're going to distribute quickly to fullbacks. Jeez, I wonder where we could find one of those at this hour. Nice flick.
They're exhausted. They're exhausted. We are much fresher than them, man. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, we've got to. We've got to. That, that we're going to go all the way up the field. We're going to put pressure on these guys. Okay. Up the field. Pressure them. Please. Oh. They are tired. This is our opportunity to go win the game because we are more fit than them. They did not rotate for the cup match. Yes. Raul, one of the subs. It's better. Still not happy with Raul. He had such a ridiculous debut with two goals off the bench. We haven't seen a ton since. Great movement, Ortiz. Play it! Play it! Play the ball! You want to know why I have gray hairs in my beard? Do you want to? Look at this guy. It's all right, we're still on the move. Ian makes plays, and it is it's a decent ball. Ian's done a lot for us. He just didn't, you know, he's young, he's learning. You he didn't see it for whatever reason. Oh my goodness, lay eye! He's offside anyways. Time to get inside of your fullbacks. We're there. Ortiz with that man mark. He's finally there to make the play. Oh, how exciting. Run. Don't pass it. God. Run. There you go. One, two. Jerry. Jerry and Bakogu. Look at the pace. Hang on there, boys. We're riding this one home. I think we got it. <laughs> oh, man. Jerry Impikogu using, weaponizing his pace, you know? Weaponizing his pace. Goodness, that is nice. Do 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 do. Okay. Checking the player instructions. We're still good. Yep. All right. Life is good. Come on, Jerry. Got a baby. Let's go, Jerry. This is literally he just kept running. Like normally, a lot of these players will stop or try and do something or shoot too early. He's like, no, nah, the longer I run, the farther away from this guy I'm going to get. And he gives himself the window and he actually, you know, he finds a way to put the ball in the net. Mad respect, Jerry and Bakogu. Good block. That had to hurt. Really, the guy they should be looking at on their team that caused some problems for him is Kitagawa. That dude had two, I think, two clear-cut chances. Kitagawa and just missed him. Ow. Nice block. Ooh, God's power thrown. We don't even have to get stuck in anymore. Why are we all lunging at the same time? Ooh. Geskis! Oh! We just ice the cake there. We're just finding ways to win games. This was ugly as all get out. We were not good at all. But instead of curling up into a ball, we went for it because they were tired. How did they get 0.4 XG from their last possession? I felt really unthreatened. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's one of these! Venema! Oh, I'm okay that he shot that, though. I'd think another touch and he wouldn't have had a window to shoot. Oh, come on, Javi. Thank you. Oh... 
Thank you. Take your time, man. Is he on? Good at her. I'll lay eye. On your horse, Raphael. On your horse. Always nice to see a highlight like that. Remind yourself you're playing in Austria. All right, goodbye. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm not happy with that performance. You know, that might actually work. It did work. Your dominating performance today was spectacular. How are you not? I Dude, some random person on the street told me that I'd be fired up. How are you not fired up? We didn't play well. We won. But we did not play well. I'm happy we won. We got the three points. We fluked our way by Klagenfurt. We did not play well. I just sold 1,300 season tickets for a stadium that takes 1,441. That's really good. <sighs> yeah, there's an element of luck involved, and uh, a lot of the chances we gave away were really tight. You know, dang, Salzburg nearly dropped points to Lafnitz. Of course, we are the cardiac kids. We've pulled out more points. Look at this table. Oh, my goodness. We're hunting Champions League right now. We just got to find that form again. We're gutting it out. We're finding ways to win. Oh, Calvin John. It's, oh, I remember this kid when he was 17 and the Guardian put him on the next-gen list. He's 27 to 34 million. Are you serious? I'm so proud of you, Calvin. I'm so proud of you. He's got no interest in any sort of move, so we're done scouting him. But wow, what a player. Yeah, yeah, I gotta love those next-gen lists. That dude was still in, uh, I think he was still in Tanzania. He was at some academy. Or no, he was one of the guys that went to an academy in England, but since he was not 18 yet, he couldn't play. But he was, he, like, got signed when he was 16 to some, like, boarding school in England. It wasn't a club. Weird story. But he couldn't play, and so he was just kind of working out, and different people were scouting him. Great match from Nick Venema. He's the reason that we won, instead of lost. Seriously. Oi. Senny Linen, you look good. I mean, I, we don't know much about you. I'll scout you for another week first. Before we dedicate to trying to learn everything about you. Not somebody we're going to bend over backwards for, but I would end of contract sign. All right. Nice short press conference, everybody. Lisa, what's up? Do you have any pre-match comments? Uh, any thoughts in your pre-match comments about Willem Schultz? Uh, rather just focus on the match. You're expected to be scrapping it for survival, yet you're a stunning start and you're flying high. How far can you go? Uh, we're doing well, but we've got a long way to go. Absolutely. I mean, you look at the end of the day, we got 22 points. And that uh, that might, you know, through the rest of the season, that's not even good enough to keep us safe. So it's all about the next match and putting more points on that board. I miss Vanessa. I do. I do too. Which league is this? I'm playing in Austria. Floridsdorfer AC, the Dorfers. So 22 points, 2 to be 11, though. Yeah, on the league split. That's why we need to get in the championship group. And we are flying right now. This is This is the season that we were hoping for. After our adjustment period last year, this is the season. For those those toss-up matches, even a match like the last one where we get outplayed, we brought in players of the quality, we make the late tactical adjustments that are able to flip the game in our favor. Easy. <sighs> League splits after 22 matches, so we're what, nine matches in? You play every team twice in the league splits, and then you play every team in your half two more times. We want to be in the championship group, and we want to finish... Let's see, top three should be Champions League? Or no? 
uh championship group top two is champions league europa league is three conference league is four conference league playoff final is five where you're a heavy favorite in that playoff final because of the fixture congestion that is imposed uh, upon the other team Have, yeah i know this because we were the other team in the playoff final before Finances are okay. Yeah, I'll believe that. Finally having enough to support you again. Thank you for bringing me the joy I need during some really tough times less than three. I got you, dude. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the hammers. And yeah, no, I, I always appreciate the support. But if you if you don't have the opportunity to do that right now, and hopefully you catch a gifted sub. But if you don't, it, it doesn't matter. You're still here. You're still a part of it. I'm glad you're back in that, the, back in the throw of things, Ardwolf. <sighs> Gotta take him off the passing for now. He's just gonna keep complaining about it. He never stops. Even though his passing was improving for a while. We're working on an individual trait for him too. That's why he's complaining. We need a new name for the Discord bot. What did we name the Discord bot before? I don't remember. Yeah, I've done an Iceland save. HK got to the Champions League knockouts, but lost to Real Madrid three to two. Thoughts on Mauricio Cuevas? I actually don't know who that is. Asha Bicep, thank you for the three. <laughs> Assuming Pasha was taken. Three months, Pog. Pog. The way he says, oh, what the f uh, No, no. No. What? Depth obliterated by the Pan American Games. Nobody cares. I'm in the Americas. I don't care. Now you can't withdraw them because it's a competitive competition. If they're called up for competitive competitions, you can't withdraw them. You can only withdraw them from friendlies. Fiddlesticks. Hashtag no fun league right there. <sighs> I am rooting for a swift exit of Canada and the United States from the Pan American Games. I can't imagine that that's going to happen. Maybe be able to postpone matches. Four is kind of right on the line. We'll see. Five, actually. Yeah, but the other one we don't care about. I can't remember who it is. It's uh, Daniel Beer. He's not at the Pan American Games. He's with the Canadian U19s. Which, you know, go, go go him, right? Very cool, but also not the Pan American Games. I could recall him if I wanted to. So Anderson Oliveira is extremely doubtful in his transfer interest. His salary is low. And really, he's not, like, so good that it's outrageous that he could play for us. We'll put him on the maybes for a year. But I don't understand why he's being so uppity about the whole thing. It doesn't seem like that should be where his mind is at with the quality that he has. All right, guys, to the news desk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zila News. I am your host. 
This is Zealand. First update on this Zealand news desk. This just come across 28th minute goal by Romelu Lukaku means Chelsea leads Brighton one to nothing, but I'm sure Brighton is winning on XG. Christian Pulisic is playing in that game, which means you know somewhere he's being bashed on Twitter. Brentford and Manchester City have kicked off five minutes in and it's already four nothing Manchester City. No, that's not true, but it will be. It's nothing to nothing right now. A little nil-nil action. Nil-nil. Fabulous. Uh, wonderful. Yep. Yeah. And then we had the final of the AFF, which is the South Asian, the Southeast Asian, more specifically, Cup. I've been getting regular updates from my friend in Indonesia about this, but very unfortunately, I am here to report to you that in the final of the Southeast Asian Cup, which Indonesia had somehow miraculously made through a tremendous turnaround victories over Malaysia, they survived a very tough Singapore in the semifinals to get to a very good Thailand in the final. Uh, other teams like Vietnam that are actually really capable Vietnams in the last round of Asian World Cup qualifying, and they didn't make it to the final, but here is Indonesia. Thailand won four to nothing, and that, you know, my heart weeps. It weeps. For my my Indonesian friend who is so excited about his nation getting to a tournament final, the Southeast Asian uh, tournament final, only to lose four to nothing. tragedy striking again and again and again for Indonesian players brutal country won the Arabian Cup Algeria Algeria won the Arabian Cup that's it for your Zealand news break now back to your regularly scheduled memedom and programming I'm your host on Zealand News for the Zealand News Network Zealand Lightning quick as always. On oh, Thailand, Indonesia, there's a second leg. They lost the first leg four to nothing. For a Malaysian to hear you rooting for our fierce rival is heartbreaking. I, my, the friend in Indonesia has just been sending me updates, you know, like breakdowns of the match. I mean, paragraphs of, you know, we did this well and then we didn't do this well and here's how we won this game, you know, that sort of stuff. And it's been fun. Stath this Ionitis. He is 18. We got dubious transfer interest. Let's go on my futures for years so that we at least keep track of him. He's only got one appearance. David! Welcome back, dude. Nope. Still just doing rehab right now. But apparently, David Dietz is almost back. Back to his ways. A personalized message? Cool. Personalized message goes out to uh, to Selwa. It says, are we going to see this year a Champions League win or is it going to be like Oriental Dragon? I did have multiple people send me a message that they took that ODFC save and won the Champions League the next year. So that's always fun to know.
Yeah, you know, increase the wage cap on league registration restrictions? <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't know if you can increase that. Cool. Like if it's a league, like a league registration restriction, I honestly don't know if that can change. I don't know what it would be. Right. Kazoo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Golden bacon soon. Been keeping up the Dorfers on YouTube. Hey, what's up, Vimser? How you doing? Thanks for the four. And I'm glad you've been keeping up. We're a little bit behind because on the Christmas break that we took on the channel, uh, four or five days, whatever, and we messed up one of the thumbnails. It wasn't perfect. And so we, we couldn't publish the, the video that came out this morning until now because we didn't have the right thumbnail set for it. But it'll catch up because obviously we're about to be away for a week again. And so it'll catch back up. I missed if he answered my question about goalies and attributes he likes. Uh, no, I didn't, but I can guess your question now. Uh, the attributes I look for in a goalkeeper, right? I, I'm looking for somebody that's a decent athlete. I'm always bothered by the really old, slow guys. Uh, uh, somebody with, you know, the agility, the balance. I think you, you don't need to be a freak athlete, but be competent athletically. Um... I think competence is really the name of the game. And then the couple of standout attributes, the ability to command the area, I consider really important. It's something that when we did goalkeeper testing, I like the one attribute that really stood out as being incredibly important for goalkeepers was their ability to command the area. So it's always something that I have an eye on. And then uh, reflexes and one-on-ones because you're just gonna have to face quick shots and one-on-ones on a fairly regular basis in football manager. and being able to save those and kind of give you one save in a 1v1 per game, I consider to be very valuable for a goalkeeper. Especially if your team is not good. You need to put more of an onus on that. I think my wife is putting glue on my antique weapons collection. She denies it, but I'm sticking to my guns. Felt that one right in the gut, you know. Felt it. Stop that scouting trip immediately. And that one. Christopher Clausen. Previously scouted, we're literally still scouting him. What do you mean? We're still scouting both of those guys. <laughs> Joe Linton again. I can't sign him. His wage demands are bigger than my entire team combined. Please leave me alone about Joe Linton. He's an impossible to sign for me. 
They have no concept of this, apparently. They're just flabbergasted that I wouldn't be able to sign Joe Linton. Lucas, I'm just gonna praise you until the cows come home, man. Just so proud. I'm just so proud of you. Grabbing the bull by the horns. Nick Vainema. Oh, he's got a little potential, I think, that's there left to be squeezed out if he starts playing well. <sighs> yeah, Joe Linton. Because yeah, I know, I know my scouts aren't making me Joe Linton. They're bringing me Joe Linton. I never heard of him. You know, maybe I want to see a second report. Go find somebody named Joe Linton. Okay. To redeem yourself. Loved your last video on the YouTubes. I already started a career with Vojvodina with the idea of trying to build up the Serbian national team with players through my club in the Serbian Super League within at least the top 10. It's going well so far. Pray to the FM gods for me that it stays like this. I got you, Farney. I'm glad it's going well. It is. I mean, you already have two good clubs in the league too, so building up that league is certainly not. Did he really just get... Cool. SV Rid currently on a three-match unbeaten league run and find themselves in eighth. Really? They're starting to turn their season around. It would be a shame if we were to do something about that. Yeah, every time you ask me about Salzburg, I'm just going to hands down say I think they're the best team in the league. I think they're going to win every match that they play. They have more money than the rest of us combined. Kyle Penny said, dude, I'm going to be subbing in three days. Dude, don't worry about it. But I'm glad to see you in the chat. You know, welcome to the scary land of the chat. The bacon will look great in three days. I'm happy to have you here in the meantime. What is this thing? There we go. Some loose on my microphone. All right, Arnis Kurzalic. Me another week. Slatko Shantek. How the heck is there? A, oh, he's a great out player. That's why he doesn't have the face. Got it. Got it. Gherkins with the gifted sub to Kyle. Wow. Now that, that is kind. That is kind from Gherkins. Kyle, you got a present three days early. Bada bing, bada boom. Gherkins, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And uh, Kyle, welcome to the Hammers. Hmm. All right, so we're missing those five guys for this match against SV Reed, which means Bashiri's playing right back. Um, that's it. We're just going to have a light bench outside of that because we won't have Vidic and we won't have Nolan. We have an older bench. I have an older bench. That'll be fine. Anthony Schmidt, Caleb Speer, uh, Rocky Bashiri. David Dietz cleared for 30 minutes. God, that's a nice, nice look. Anderson, for some reason, is just not ready to go. Trying to recover from that arm injury that we gave him a... I know, I'm just trying to get back to the other screen, man. Chill. Anderson's going to be nowhere near the team. All right, we need to figure this out. How we're going to balance out this team. Bashiri is going to play right back. Cool. We are missing not only Nolan, but also Anderson, which means God's Power Tower is our only option to play today. And we are going to rotate. No? I mean, we didn't play well in the last match. Uh, I'm going to do that. And I am going to have Custodios... Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, Hinters here, you're back into the lineup today, rotating him with Oliveira with regularity. Venema, you start. Rafael AI played well in the last match. We move. Asensio and Schmidt, neither one's been sensational. Custodio's the captain. It's really the bench that we are we're grasping. We have the forwards down. 
Uh, we'll put Pooch and Prisikene, and then we've got, you know, plenty of subs for defense, guys that we kind of trust that can be out there. And then Kareem Conte, who hasn't played all season. He's our midfield sub. He's back from injury just in the nick of time. Here's to hoping he doesn't get hurt again. Uh, Christian, you going to cut in? No, you're going to stay wide. Cool. Ante Bajic can cut in, likely will. That's off the left. That means we should shift this. Put Custodio here. And God's Power Tower here. And Shiku Zhang. He's got that pace. You're going to be looking for that ball over the top. All right, here we go. All right, Javi Vasquez. Because Slavija Radovic is hurt now. We just have not had a normal left back situation all year long. We have not had it. All right. Had an excellent start to this season. And I'm going to try and keep these boys fired up. Little, little bit of a malaise falling over the team. So I'm going to put pressure on them to win. I have faith in you to go out there and get the job done. All right, at the Fock Plots against SV Red. Identified what they're going to do very early on. We're not going to play out from the back, and we are going to look to play a little more direct because they are pressing so high up the field. That's going to result in less possession for us, but I believe better chances and much less likely to create an awful turnover, which nonetheless we have created. We're just that good. Great play by Kashkish. Okay. Get the freaking throwing nonsense going our way. Quick ball, early cross. We bring a couple guys short on our throw-ins so that we can just get the ball in quickly and it works. Nick Vainema, he's in a rich vein of form right now. That's a tough goal to give up. Header from the penalty spot with Bumberger, one of our best aerial players, right on him. That's that's painful. Our header was much more obvious, okay? We work much harder to create it. I'm offended. Ooh, I mean, this is almost like dumping it in in hockey or something. How did Schmidt win that ball? That is brilliant. Play Bajiri. All right, Rocky. Nice and short. Lei does the creative stuff. Oh, that's such an obvious pen. Dude, that might be a red. I mean, I know you're going to do the whole yellow penalty thing, but Rafael Lei is so freaking shifty. I know you get that a lot because he's short, but... Ref! All right, Vainima. Big ol' in breath, and then out, and then shoot, and then boom. Let's go! That's what you get for that pun. Opinion on James Sands. Looks like he's linked with Rangers in the winter transfer window. He's an anchor man or a ball playing center back. Uh, he's broken into the U.S. national team. I actually know his older sister personally, which is a weird tidbit. Uh, I've always thought he was good. I didn't know how good he was until he started getting the U.S. call-ups. There's no way he's on, right? 
I mean, Bumberger, nice finish, but I guess in you're like a Rangers fan, you're trying to figure out what you're getting. If you need somebody who's a an anchor man, defensive midfielder, or a a ball playing defender, he he's definitely at I believe a Rangers level. Like I think he's at the level to be able to contribute right away as that for Rangers. But obviously, Bobo does not share that opinion, so it is not a universal like James Sands is amazing sort of thing. He was on the Gold Cup team, and he was good sometimes. Then every once in a while, you'd be like, what is that pass, you know? But he's also young. <sighs> is Rangers an upgrade from MLS? I really don't think it's a huge change in level, and I mean no offense by saying that. But I think when you see players like Brendan Aronson leave the MLS and go right into Salzburg at like 19 years old and become a regular starter, I mean, I think you're talking about a pretty comparable level of competition. The Rangers have been getting a lot better, but... Uh... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't praised the guys in a while. I feel like we've been giving weird team talks because we've been playing weird matches. So I'm just going to come out and say, hey, guys, good job. We're winning. We've created two really obvious chances. We scored them both. That wasn't a penalty foul. It was a really obvious chance for Venema. So, oh, yes, God's power! Oh. Yeah, I think he's a really poor man's John Stones, honestly. He has the technical, physical stuff. Sands has lapses, but he's still good. God's post, yeah. He just really identifies with the towers next to the goal. Oh, Venema, that was cheeky. This fullback can't even stay close to Schmid when he's running. Javi, I just knew you were going to shoot that too. You sniveling little left back. That's all right. I love you. Javi's cement. He's gone from, I don't know if we were going to offer him a contract to being the regular starter at the position. So I can't, he's still on a month to month. Actually, Javi Vasquez is. Uh, Leia is probably not who we should be aiming for there. If I had to guess. Oh, yes. Schmidt. Javi. Hinterseer. <sighs> I understand the temptation to just keep shooting when you're that close to the goal and in possession, but you gotta know that isn't working, right? Nice touch by Lei. Very good, composed stuff. Great work from Venema. Oh, yes! The one-two! And Nick Venema's in behind! Here he goes! Nick Venema! Five goals in two matches for Nick Venema! It's gorgeous center forward play from the 24 year old Dutchman who is flying. All the composure you could want. He's walked it in. And Rafael Leai gets the assist. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. It's triple subbed. Had a boy, Bashiri. Oh, good save. Good save. <sighs> Out again. Five months Raph. With Jeff Bezos Thank you. Keep up the great work, Zed. RNG hate me. Thanks for the five months. And we're doing our best. You know, we're just out here trying to get results. End of the day. Get results. Ooh, nice ball. Venema. Oh, he's unselfish. What? Oh, my God. I am so happy we're up 3-1. I would be losing my mind if we weren't up 3-1 right now. Oh, dude, dude, dude. What a what a saucy ball from Bashiri, whose passing's been a joy in this match. And then Schmidt, come on. And then Leai, come on, really? I know that's your weak foot, Raphael, but if we could not hit it right to the corner the goalkeeper's standing in, that probably would be ideal. Not to mention Schmidt had a third of the goal to pass that ball into. He is not in the same goal scoring form that he used to have down in the second division.
He really hasn't recaptured any of that. I like where we are positionally right now. We're not letting them get inside of it. God, the XG's nuts. We don't deserve to be that far ahead on the XG, but we have just missed some gaping chances. Subs! Uh, Schmidt for Asensio, who's still learning that position, and Rafael Leai continues to be tired, and we continue to have nobody to play his position. Hinterseer can play over there. But you know what? We're just gonna get we're just gonna let Rafael Leai do his thing. Alright, we're just gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna bring in Patrick the Pooch Poochiger for Vasquez, who, in spite of you know his brilliance on some days, has did the subs not go through. No, they did. They just went through immediately. Weird. Uh, Vasquez not been good today. So the pooch is back. Interesting how we're trying to play out of the back when I've specifically asked us not to, but the fact that we're doing it so well is encouraging. Ah, Custodio. The old roaming playmaker. Nope, oh, that's a that's a deep lying playmaker right there, popping up you know, on the flank. And it almost worked. Oh, lay eye playing a little defense. It's honestly just an awful touch by that guy. Oh, it's Hinter's ear. I mean, honestly, we could be winning this match by five goals at this point. That clearance was hilariously unlucky, but Interseer is just all alone waltzing towards the goal. Bashiri, that is a hammer of a header from my boy Rocky. <sighs> Mike Custodio. Nice. Man, Radlinger, calm down. Take Custodio off. Let me get Kareem Conte some minutes. Not a bad idea. After he delivers the corner. <laughs> what? What is that? Why are you not flicking it on? Why are we drilling the header back to Custodio, who is like, nah, we're just going to let this go out for their throw. You know, I feel like that's a better position for us to be in. All right, Venema. Hinders here. Nice touch. Way to go after him with your no pace. Way to attack. That situation, you receive the ball, you shield, you wait for Vayneman to make the run, you give him, a, give him the ball back, right? Guy was offside. No? Yeah. Awesome. Good win. Excellent performance. Finally, we were the better team. Very, 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 very happy. Vayneman with the hat trick. Nick Vayneman. Took him a little while to adjust. But now we've seen how good he can be at his very best. I, I Hopefully not. Maybe he can be even better than this. But we knew his skill set. We knew what type of player he was. And we're getting that now. Yeah, we played some lovely stuff. Absolutely. We're a joy to behold. Absolute joy to behold there. And wouldn't you know it, matches in hand for everybody else. Top of the league. So we just keep getting results. One more match and then we played everybody else one time which is always a good point to stop and take stock of how well things are going. And it looks like we might just hit that point. Um, looks like we might just hit that point looking really good, which is nice. Yogo Kalilia. <sighs> how much longer do you believe this unbeaten run can continue? I really think we're masters of our own destiny. Absolutely. Is there a chance that overconfidence can play? It's my job to keep our feet firmly on the ground, 100%. Uh, yeah, I like Custodio mixing it up. He's the captain. He gets his nose dirty, right? He, he throws himself around and makes things happen. And my goodness, Rapid Vien Drew. And we are second in the league, one point behind Salzburg. Surely I didn't expect us to be at this level this early, but we are playing. We are playing, chat. Just to just clap it up for this team. I mean, who would have thought at this point in the season that we would be stride for stride, right? I mean, stride for stride with Salzburg right at the top of the league. I mean, these boys are, they're gutting it out. You've got to die to get three points. We're doing it a lot, you know? We're doing it a lot. 
We're giving everything we've got. Uh, Caleb Spear, are you improving? Yeah, good. Positioning, love that. He needs to keep working on his defensive positioning. They're recommending this far too early. My third string goalkeeper can absolutely work on his weaker foot. That sounds fun. Potential training unhappiness for Raul Asensio. I feel like your individual training is no longer beneficial. Well, that's because you're bad at it, Raul, to be honest with you. Little more playing time and match experience for Igor Vidic. If he's going to reach his potential, he's played a good amount. Shishkin has got one of those weird developmental curves where he's going up and down at the same time, which is nice. David, getting better. That's all we ask for you, David. Grow into the team. Well, the staff stuff at the end, we don't really care about. Good fortnightly staff meeting. Yeah. Go team. <sighs> now, this is our third season. Uh, we ended up finishing seventh in the league in our first season of the top flight, but we got promotion first season, second, in, or, you know, seventh in the league. And now our goal was championship group or bust. We want to get ourselves into Europe going into next season. And I think we got a really good shot to do that. Now, registration in Europe is going to be a problem, but that's the sort of problem that you deal with when you get there. Vittorio Bianco, the defensive midfielder. Now, he has been given a little bit of a brighter future in this account. And I want another week. I'm Christopher Clausen. And what what's our... Ah, uh, yeah, that's ugly. That is ugly. Hey, board. Hi. Me again. Scouts. I need them. I need more scouts. We're backing up a little bit too much. I need more scouts, please. What are the odds getting talented players from Central Asia? Very low. And hey, we got a new one. Cool. Do, 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 do. Hey, how you doing? Those Victor Moreno characters are really good. Good determination, very adaptable, but he wants to be a general manager and apparently our wage for this position. Little low, it's a little low. Ah, 10 times what we can pay, no big deal. That was only six times what we can pay. So like progress, you know, this guy is reasonably within striking distance for us. Let's see if we can negotiate him. No, I didn't do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, Zealand. whoa. Hmm, okay, uh, we're good. Didn't just walk away. We are fine. Mm. Totally okay. Did that on purpose. I didn't want the scout yet. I didn't want him. I didn't want him. Simply not good enough. Schedule clicking training this week. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. This guy's not good. Why do you like him? It's totally fine. He doesn't improve the team at all. I'm just going to let him go. He doesn't improve the team at all. I can't imagine why I would sign that guy over some of the guys we have on our team. Ah, Raphael. I guess that means Vidic is going to play if Raphael's not ready to go. Because we're already missing Salazar. Went out and broke his arm two matches into his career here. 
Got one right wing left. <sighs> When's the aim lab stream? Honestly, I probably do need to do a little Kovacs before I play again, you know, just to make sure you know, keep me honest. You know, I have full knowledge on this guy. I mean, we were so close to full knowledge. You might as well, right, tick that over the top, see if that potential locks in a little on the high side, and then we'd be interested. Oh, that it's just Pan Am. True. We have no one. He says to himself as he turns. Hinderseer can play right wing, allegedly. Very tentatively, I say that because that man has no pace. But he, he does have it on the list thing that he can play that position. Play I, will probably be fine. How's Vaynema doing? Well, he's got five goals in his last two matches, and so he's really kind of... He's kicked on. I'm going to go back to watch the YouTube video. Just wanted to say hi. Have a good night. Yo, Rich. Thanks. Enjoy the vid. Play Jerry on the right. I don't know if he can do that. If he can, it's certainly not natural. When's that ever stopped me before? Well, AI's six to eight days, and the match was 11 days away, so he might not be 100%, but it'll be good enough. David Dietz and Lucas Peer getting those U18 matches in. Great work, gentlemen. Elias Anderson's arm and elbow or whatever it was has recovered. I don't think he's that good. I mean, I keep looking at him and he looks like he's kind of that good. I want to do another week here. Of course, we don't have the scouting department to do what I'm asking them to do. Yo, Kunya, hope you feel better, man. So I got COVID. Hanging out. Streams are making the days better. The least I can do. Graz, as everybody and their mother pointed out the last time we discussed them. Sturm Graz. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh. Oh, nothing about him. Gotta finish that scouting report. Romain Correa. Well, I know he's not gonna be good enough that I wanna go out and sign him before we get him free into contract. So what's the point? What move are we trying to make? Nothing. Oh, another birthday. Oh boy. Hey, an anonymous gifted sub <laughs> to Cunha. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the anonymous gifted sub. And it fears Pierce comes in with the top. A 
see it coming over the horizon. I just got that your Twitter handle was a pun about New Zealand. I'm kind of disappointed in you. I won't lie to you. I'm kind of disappointed. I mean, you're doing well overall. I mean, you're here. Life is good, but I'm 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 kind of disappointed. I am. Because it feels kind of obvious, right? It feels like, you know, the old Zealand. I love his, his crossing is improving like crazy and he's over here like, I don't want to work on it. How dare you make me work on this crossing? Ooh. Towering goalkeeper doesn't like me, but will he eventually? Time will tell. Time will tell if he eventually will like me. Fierce Pierce, thank you so much. 30 gifted subs. Wow. That deserves multiple anime wows. The love in the chat for Fierce Pierce. A resounding thank you. For the number of people that Fierce Pierce has indoctrinated into the hammers over the course of the last month. It really is remarkable. An all-time record. After the sixth one, has it gotten better? You tell me, homie. Kept our head down. We stayed focused. We got things turned around. Made the tactical changes we needed. We got the luck of the bounce that we needed kind of early on in the stream. And now, look at us go. Oh, there's some other scouting that ended. Clint Lehman's. Definitely not Alexander Buyubasic. No. And safely say he does not hold my interest anymore. Silly! Thank you for the, the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Hammers. All right, TS. I'll catch you later. Congrats on the sub. Enjoy the bacon and the emotes and everything. Ricardo Gonzalez, who is that? He's not real. He is not real. Oh, Schmidt's hurt for a month. Man. Like embodied with injuries, huh? <laughs> nah, this dude hates everything. Storm gods. Oh, who, 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 who. That's going to be a problem. Like, we're going to have to play three at the back, right? And Schmidt's hurt, which means we're going to be all befuddled and confused over on this left side unless we do God's Power Tower over here. And then we run like Conte as a box to box guy. But he's not ready for 90 minutes right now. We just need him to do it, anyways. Let me play Interseer. All right. Um, no, we'll do this.
All right, Essencia Oliveira, Jerry and Bakogu. Uh, we're just missing the midfielder. Where the heck is Conte? Shouldn't be in the team. Where is he? Oh, he is in there. It's already on the bench. Okay. Well, then we move him there, and then we put Slavisha Radovic in, because he probably will be cleared to be somewhere around the team, right? Hi, Mr. Zealando. Hey, what's up? Cash Cash, not feeling great, but we do have some time. He's going to have some time to recover. Raphael AI, the same thing. So that tactic is what I want. They're going to come out with this narrow nonsense. That's the tactic that we're going to work on. Changing my training. Right, I want the set piece defensive stuff. Don't care about the set piece attacking stuff. We're doing outfield and overall. And outfield and tactical, good. Okay. And then we'll do a physical recovery. Gonna get us ready to play this match because we are gonna train really hard for a couple of days. All right. Now they're playing the sword and you cannot defend narrow. I am convinced now that you cannot defend narrow unless you are willing to change your back line. Ball winners. So easy to be an A on the scouting report when you're a ball winner. No. Too slow. This whole one week scouting thing is definitely going to change the way that I approach scouting a little bit. Gives me a little more time to take stock of how good I think somebody is before actually making a move. I've set my tactics set on lower, yet my defense still can't react to a ball over the top. What am I doing wrong? Uh, you're just not tracking those runs. So obviously, unless you go super low, your team's not going to be sitting on top of the box at all times. And so those balls over the top, something, sometimes what can hurt you is that you are giving people all day long to find them and play them, right? And it can sound counterintuitive. Pushing farther up could remove more of those balls over the top, but... Like you could, the, the solution could be moving forward so that you can contest who's delivering those balls over the top. Inigo. I know my staff is absolutely in love with this guy, but I'm not. Not what I wanted. I hit space so that I could go up to the next message. Calm down. Ooh, it's the not sneak. It's a beast. Cardo Gonzalez. Looks like FC Dallas is trying to bring him up. We would make the move, but we... Cannot financially do that. Stathi Sionidis is on the move as well. Just a little bit more money in that payroll budget, dude. Just a little bit. Please. Please. You see the level we're competing at? I need the money. We're losing out on players. Oh my god, man. We aren't even working with high injury risk.
There you go. Maybe that'll help. It's fortunately, he is suspended for this match, so we weren't even considering playing him. Doesn't change our plan going in. Alessio Besso looks like a beast. I'd like to keep him on my loan list as well. Miguel Arecino. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Need an exorcist for this club. I was thinking a witch doctor. All those rumors of them around African qualifying. I figure I might try and get a phone number for somebody there. Alec Terry, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Oi, oi, oi. As he is good, I play. Oh, they drew. My God, if we win, we are top of the league after the first round of matches. Yeah, Bessie is definitely good. We were told to scout him by somebody. I uh, or somebody redeemed a player lookup so that we go, you know, kind of have a look at him and look at Bumberger. Gotta go to the development to see the training improvements, but that is, uh, that's nice. I see not on anything. Did we put him on? Yeah, we must have put him on, uh... Rehab because he was coming back from a minor injury and we forgot to reset it. U.S. Keeper's birthday today. We still can't make a move for these guys. Pan American Games. Come on, Canada, lose. Lose! At least we're playing Ian Ortiz a full 90 minutes. Yeah, the U.S. Keeper. All right, who is that? Nathan Aldrich. Which money do you want? That is a reasonable amount of money, but can't do anything until we get to Vanderhorst. He's the difference maker. He's the last person that we need to go in for, and that is December 1st. That is Vanderhorst's birthday, and we know that. lot of players away on the international break but the difference is we still have players away when we get back from the international break see this is not oh my god joseph I, mean, I was outfield training we just did a recovery joseph how are you rolling your ankle joseph we don't have a lot of injury susceptibility right now we're just getting hurt anyways somebody call the rng gods for me please a christmas miracle needed for the for Van the horse? Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, that was quick. What about the transfer budget? To our financial situation, do you even realize where we are right now? We are, we are within a hair's breadth of the top of the league. The whole league. You give me a 200,000 transfer budget, I bring in Vanderhorst and Ian Kim, I can, we got a shot. Like an actual shot at being here when the whole thing ends. But you won't do that, will you? You don't have the spine. I'm talking to a computer right now. Very, very, very disappointed in the way all of this has gone. Okay. Manfred Guldner at Blauweiss Linz. That is a classic end of contract shortlist. Guillermo Teixeira, nice find. 
can play a little right back and play a little uh central midfield but he can't don't like him victor bogat no let you finish scouting him but eh. a lot of these scouting trips have actually already ended yours hasn't not a life changer but we'll trial you when your contract runs out Jungbauer Stratzig we know he's good end of contract report on Daniel Mello okay I feel like I misclicked I did Reina could be one of the good ones Gabriel Hermino is not one of the good ones Alan Ruiz cool Usman Mane good deal Her Smith I am interested to see the result of that one Chris Smith looks pretty darn good. Curtis Romine, are we still scouting him? I'd like to cancel it. Okay, we're not. He's not good enough. This guy's in a contract. Don't know enough about him yet to go past that. All right, Sturm Graz, it's dancing time. Last match of the first round of matches, and we can take ourselves, remarkably, top of the league. They just drew Argentina. Come on, Canada. Is it really that hard to just lose? Kerr Smith was in the next gen list in my mind save. Always good for the value, if nothing else. Will the Dorfers get a win versus Sturm Graz at home? Sturm Graz, the end of the first round of matches. We know based off the other results that if we win, we'll go. We don't have Nolan, we don't have Ortiz, we don't have Vidic. And we don't have Shishkin, but that's the least impactful of the four. Oh, Zang. Sago got sacked. That's just unpleasant. That's unfortunate. Kashkish feels the quickness training is not producing any results. Well, I believe your crossing training has produced improvements, Bashiri. I've already seen them on the field. You had a crossing assist not too long ago. I'd be willing to wager that your crossing going up an entire point had something to do with that. All right. That's a nice short report. Radovich is actually not cleared. That's just no good. Freddy Salazar, on the other hand, is cleared. He's not 100%, but he is approved for action. This guy's good. Very tidy. Okay. We got to take Radovich off the bench and find somebody that we can stick on it which would be Salazar. Even though he's not 100% fit, I am happy that Salazar is back around the team, at least. And we are going to go with the general rehab. So Vasquez, Bashiri, Bumberg, Ur, Spear, Keskish, Anderson, God's Power Tower, Leai, Venema, Hinterseer. With very few options off the bench, but it's not a bad starting lineup. Okay. I don't want to mess around with Mark and anybody up there, especially Kalajic. He's going to drop in and these other guys are going to make runs. I'm not messing down with any of the closing downs. We are set up to be able to naturally defend what they're trying to do. We are coming out in a completely different tactic. They are not going to see this coming. Cool. Just going to make sure our set pieces aren't shambolic. They are going far post, which isn't great. All right, who should we have attacking from the edge of the area? Obviously, God's Power Tower, Caleb Spear, Nick Venema. In what world do we want Nick Venema? 
Like seriously, who who is doing this? Who is who is responsible for this? Madness. Near post. Yes. Then Bumberger, because he's got better heading. We want Hinderzayer there. And we'll just take Rocky Bashiri. No, we'll take Javi Vasquez. Put him with Caleb Spear. Imagine we are completely out of sorts here as well. We are. Thank you, Anderson. Put him on the posts. The difference between winning and losing. Right here. So it would have been... Really open. All right. Team is set. We're ready to go all down to hard work. It's all about momentum. Purple patch and form. Winning games leads to winning more games. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Last match of the first round. We win. We are top. Oh, they have Bruno Piri on the bench. Mm. Happy birth sub day. Hey! Zekwana, thank you so much for the year and uh, happy birth sub day to you wow. as well. Congratulations on your gold bacon. May it power you. Lay eye is clear. I agree wholeheartedly. Brighton have scored. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, oh my goodness, in the 92nd minute. Chelsea just broke their keyboard. Nice. Header from that far out, I'm always okay with. Now, Blackman has done a really awful job of dealing with it, but still. Perfectionist's a wonderful personality on head of youth development. You're going to have some drama queens. They're not great with controversy, but everything else, they're tremendous, and they will develop like madmen. All right. I want to play out of defense. I want to play the ball short. Is that that hard to, to grasp here? Oh, Anderson. To the back to the corner, back to the corner. We want somebody with quality. There we go. Not Keshkus. Bashiri's okay. Perfect. At least we're attacking in the right areas. Welbeck's the guy that scored the goal. That's rough. Brighton just out brightened themselves, apparently. Oh, Venema. That's just not ever with the weak foot. It's just not ever. Play him back. Good. Rocky Bashiri working on that crossing. Javi! Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, A little less likely. I think it was a save. I think he hit the post and then he just shot back. Oh, we compliment the possession. Our team is nervous. We're like at nauseating heights in the league right now, hanging with teams we have no business on paper hanging with. 
Now, I know because the qualities of our players, I know that we have the business hang, you know, we have business hanging with them, but the players themselves don't know that. We've got God's Power Tower straight out of the Nigerian League. Raphael AI's been here for a year from the Solomon Islands. Like, we got the Island of Misfit Toys over here. Venema released from the Dutch Top League. Believing he can be a lead striker for a team like this is not something that he's exactly grabbing with both hands, and he is not playing well right now, so we're going to take him off. Jerry, you are the man. And Oliveira, you are the man. We're just going to do a straight swap up top. Lay I off for... Oh. Honestly, this works. But, uh, woo! You're up, kid. They're in, and we got nerves on the bench as well. It's crazy. I don't, I don't want to go with Salazar yet. So we're going to go with Asensio. Elias Anderson will be all right. He was only cleared for 75. He'll be all right. I'll raise this. They're fast guys tired. We score a lot late in matches because we go for it and try and learn as the match goes on the ways that we want to attack our opponent. And the way that we're going to attack our opponent here is by putting Anderson up here. God's Power Tower. You are going to play as a ball winner. You're going to close down really aggressively. And Anderson is going to be the attacking midfielder on this side of the field so he can support the attack. We're going to get between the lines with that. They have not threatened us through the middle of the park without their front three. And we're ready for their front three. Great highlight. It's a throw in. It's back to Bashiri, and then he just. Oh no, God's power. God's. You better win that. Thank you, Spear. Massive header by Spear. Oh yeah, Bashiri in behind. Here it is. Here we go. The redemption arc for Raul Asensio. Great ball, Raul. Sure, he's got the flank all to his lonesome. Oh, yeah, Rocky. That boy, Rocky. Ah, here's Shibella. Nice to see him and all of his pace out here hanging out. Love the moves that Rocky's been putting on, though. See, a through ball to Kalajic is fine. All right, Oliveira. Jerry. Win the header! Third time's the charm. The long ball turning into something for us. Ah. Uh. be cool we didn't even try we didn't even go for it nil nil who that's not us
There's nothing in this game. They had 0.57, we had 0.24. Nobody was doing anything. Hmm. But we had the chance. We got it opened up late. We had the chance and then, you know, all he's gonna do is, you know, control that and just catch it, hit it at the goal. It's likely going in and he tries to pass. God's power tower. Upset that I was upset. I've angered God. This is not good. And maybe if we had Ian Ortiz, a little more offensive ability out on that right side, we would have been better. Who knows? But Rocky Bashiri did make a lot of... Uh, I'm going to tell God's power I was happy with his performance. Clearly, that's what he wants to hear. I'm going to say it in the media, and then hopefully he'll be like, oh, coach actually loves me. David Bumberger's player of the match. Great player. Yeah, he's, he's earned his spot in this team. He's earned his spot in this team. And we're really, really happy for him. But speaking of earning spots, I've got no transition. Absolutely none. Zero transition, but I do have a fancy looking transition to get here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow will actually be the network save, though. So Floridsdorfer will be returning on Friday. Friday morning. We'll be playing with the Dorfers again. Tomorrow is the network save. It's going to be earlier in the day. Looking at like a 9 a.m. start for the network save. And we are going to be playing with Jack, Kev, and Ben. Malujo worked the space, Dr. Benji and I in our four-team Premier League network save. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really happy with where the, Durfer, the Dorfers are overall. Uh, we basically just played that one to a draw. Nobody had a good chance. They had the early chance, but that was it. Uh, I am doing well, though. And I'm happy with the way the stream went today and happy with the fact that, you know, Fierce Pierce gifted 30 subs, making some people's days. Got a lot of new people in the hammers overall, and... We are playing so well. We're going to raid somebody. If you've not been around for that before, we are going to go and we are all going to parachute in on somebody playing football manager. It is a lot of fun. I always enjoy it. Uh, have we ever raided Holly plays before? I've seen her pop up from time to time. We're going to raid Holly plays now. Get your uh, copy pasta ready to go. And uh, remember, submit your saves for SYS. Save your saves inbound soon. What's our copy pasta today? Can you show league table? We're a point off the top. We have 26 points. Salzburg's got 27. Uh, Rapid de Vienne's got uh, 24. And the next closest team has 15. So we're in a three horse race at the top of the table. Our draw was Thurmgratz. And yeah, Raiden and Holly plays copy pasta. Uh, we need to change the name to Holly plays. Copy the Holly plays one and paste it. That's the one. Good work, Chad. Holly plays one. We have to pretend to be bots invading your chat. You understand how that is. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for all the hard work and content. Yeah, you got it. Oh, dude, work the space is in here. After we spam, we need to tell work the space that he's the worst in the network game. You need to remind him. Just if you have, you know, not in a mean way, just remind him that he is currently the worst in the network game. Just, just a little reminder, maybe get in his head for tomorrow. Just let him know. Not mean. You know, we're not being mean. He's very good at the game. But, he, you know, he is the lowest in the network game right now. It's just facts. It's facts. I'll see you tomorrow for the network game. Have an easy, breezy, and beautiful day. I can see the moon. Oh.